yeah, I, I had that set up for last time. I just, I didn't think we'd get to, Man get to Mantis last time. I guess, like, knowing what I know of the game and knowing how much there is left ahead of us in terms of, like, major events, this might just be, like, three streams. You know, last time, today, and, you know, next week, maybe. Um, so I, I assumed it would take longer to get to Mantis. Um, but yeah, everything was already set up. Would you, would you stop doing that? Everything was already set up for, uh, for last time. Yeah, let's just go into the load menu. There we go. Um, yeah, everything was set up for last time. And it should work. I mean, obviously, I haven't, there's no way of testing it. It's not really important. It will, it will come and go. But, uh, considering, I, I, I looked into which games Mantis can say things about. Um, yeah, there's only the one thing that's actually really relevant or of interest to me. Mission log. Oh, is that for if you want to catch up? I don't know about this. I guess so. We got some nice art in the background. Yeah, oh, okay. There's a, a recap. That's nice. Read your hard drive. Hmm. 75 terabytes of furry midriffs. You like furry midriffs, don't you, Snake? No, I like midriffs in general. It's just I, I, don't, I don't mind if they're furry or not. But yes, we have to get the... No, we got the key from Meryl. Only one of three. We know what the deal is there. Because we played Metal Gear 2. Um, yeah, we'll figure that out. And then Meryl was being weird. No other way, uh, yeah, no way other than going north from the commander's room on the first floor basement in the nuclear warhead storage building. Well, let's do that. Copium. It's not copium. I know what I like. Just tummies in general are good. Oh, we start up from here. That's a cool place to put the checkpoints. Yeah, now we know. It's our first time actually loading a save. Now we know it does work the exact same way as, uh, as Metal Gear 1 and 2, where when you actually do a save, it just saves you a checkpoint. And, like, you have the checkpoints if you're playing. Like, if you die, you just go back to the... Uh, the last checkpoint you had. But cool to put a checkpoint at the end of a cutscene like that. You don't, they don't make you rewatch the entire cutscene. They insert a checkpoint there. To kind of, you know, they give you the recap as well. To ground you in the current events. And then it's like, here, you know, Meryl's telling you to follow it. So now you know what to do. Like, if this was the first cutscene we saw, it'd be a bit more jarring. They really kept that in mind. Like, obviously, this game's very cinematic, and you can play it very much like a movie. But I guess if you play it in chunks like this, you play it more like a TV show. And you get that, uh, that episodic element, which is cool. Like the prison guy that says tossing the salad is straight. Okay, I don't know anything about that. Uh, right, yes, we got the key card up. Okay. Yeah, we did this. We 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 did everything leading into Mantis, but we'll we'll play it out. Remind ourselves of everything that happened. Right, I I have like one ration, don't I? Ever had a salad toss? That's true. I definitely have not. Hmm. It's fine. Wait, why? Oh, there's no game audio. Fuck. Oh shit. Hold on. There we go. God damn it. It's fine. We've seen this all before. Yeah, I, I caught it myself just before you, okay? you did, Tag. Well done. Uh, because I, I, I've made, like, new Elgato sources, and it's not tied into my my mute buttons that I built into my stream deck. I was going to get that slowed out, but I forgot. There we go. We, we've heard all that before, so it's fine. Gotta get that sorted out. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. Yeah, she's fine. Don't worry about the fact that she sounds like she's talking through a gas mask, and don't mind that uh, that Mantis's music is playing right now. It's fine. It's fine. And yeah, then we... I don't know if we have to, like, if there's... Okay, no, you do just walk around, and then it triggers the thing. But we had the thing last time, where if you look into first person during that bit, and presumably in this following bit, too, um... You see through Meryl's perspective, Snake. like it's Siren, which is really cool. Do you like me? <laughs> what the? Do you like me? Mm. Hold me, Snake. 
What's wrong? Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question Mantis and his proclivities. He's allowed to do whatever he wants, but you know, you gotta, you gotta do whatever you want with consenting adults. You, got, you know, this is not that. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Yeah, don't but don't shoot her. So maybe we do just beat the shit out of her because last time I snapped her neck. Don't use your weapon. Yeah, try to knock her out. We'll just beat the shit out of her. Not gonna try anything fancy. Yes, it's fine. Oh, and you can kind of see the specter of Mantis hovering around it. I don't think I noticed that last time. Oh, fuck! Oh, yeah! Forgot to equip my ration, so she just shot me to death. Ah, man, that, that beagle of hers really does some work, eh? Yep, really just, I mean, maybe it would have been for the best if she had traded us the deagle before. Oh, right, yeah, we're not in analog mode on the controller either. I, I don't know why it doesn't remember this setting. It would be nice if it did. There we go. I mean, I'm kind of primarily using the D-pad anyway. I probably will continue to do so. It's nice to have an analog stick, though. If we go through these doors, then I'm going to equip the goddamn ration. The one ration that I have because I'm bad at the game. Okay. Yep, okay. Thank you, Meryl. Yeah. We, yeah, we can skip through stuff. Not all things. On, like, we can't skip now. this. The commander is waiting. But those are just little brief moments anyway. Okay, put the goddamn ration on. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now, yeah, now if we go into first person, we get Meryl's perspective, which is really cool. And I got mine. So, you like to play Metal Gear Solid? Oh, audio's desync. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I can fix that. Turns out I forgot to do that. There you go. That should have fixed it. I don't know why it would be that delayed, because I, I only just turned that Elgato source on a minute ago. That should have done it, yeah. What's wrong? I don't know why it... My, my initial assumption was that that kind of thing was caused by leaving an Elgato source active for too long. But like I said, that I only just turned on before the stream. So maybe it's something to do with... Uh, with, like, having started the stream or something. It, like, adds... It adds 10 pounds of delay or something. Very odd. I wish, I wish it didn't do that, but that's uh, what I got to deal with with the Elgato. I really wish, like, I, I don't think there's any way to, um, at, like, deactivate and activate Elgato sources through Stream Deck. I mean, maybe I should look into it again. Because if so, then I could just, um, I could just automate that. Anyway, now we're as far as we've ever been. I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. I mean, Manta's got some stuff going on. Look, look at it. Look at what he wears. Buckman remains the most iconic MGS boss squad. Oh yeah, they're peak. This is not trick. It's true. Like they figured it out here. The bosses in Metal Gear One and Two were kind of just a bunch of weirdos, but not in the way that like Buckman is in this. Did you first time through? Yeah, first time playing it through. Uh, I've seen a playthrough before, so I know what happens. Okay, here we go. You're a careless man. Oh, yeah, he's gonna tell me I'm However, shit at the game. Oh, like I've got that. Force. A little bit. You are extremely cautious around traps. Hell, okay, actually, he's not shitting on me. No, yeah, the end is great. Now I'll read more deeply into your I, I was expecting much more of a dressing down there. Ah, I can see into your mind. Mm hmm. You like Castlevania, don't you? Yeah, it worked. I got him to say it. Uh, I had to go. I had to go get my hands on Symphony of the Night, and because this is on the PS3, but you can get a digital version of Symphony. This is the digital version of this. Uh, and I had to go into it and just play a little bit long enough to make a save so I could get him to say that. I had to get that set up. Yeah, I got him to say it. Put yep, my controller's down. I'm waiting for the vibration. Now I will move God, I love this. 
Kojima being like, man, these P these PlayStation features are so cool. Let's build them into the game. Oh, oh, it's vibrating. Oh, it's shaking around. Oh, that's hard vibration. Oh my God. Commitment to the bit. Exactly. Yeah, I may forget to do things in stream setup. But more medium term stuff like that, I will do. Okay, shit, here we go. Oh, fuck. Yep, yep, yep. Also, yeah, doing stuff like this, I was thinking about this earlier, doing things to make the player think their game is broken is, like, really uncommon. I can only think of two games that do this off the top of my head. One being this, and the other being Batman Arkham Asylum with the Scarecrow bit. Uh, it's brave. It's certainly brave. Let's run around. Yeah, hopefully get another ration. There we go. Keep us a bit better supplied, and then we'll, I guess, try to shoot the fuck out of him. We haven't used the FAMAS yet, I don't think. Yeah, let's give that a go. Where you at, man? Just, there you are. Yeah, he's dodging. Uh, we should take some calls now. Eternal Darkness and Undertale do it. Okay, I've not played, I, I know re fairly little about Undertale. I have seen a playthrough of Eternal Darkness back in the day. I do want to get around to playing that. I forgot that Eternal Darkness does that. I can't remember the exact moment off the top of my head. But I, I want to get around to playing that at some point anyway, so we can discover it. Right, what does everyone have to say about this? I'm very the glad the Castlevania psychic. thing worked out. He has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America hmm. looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. Uh, he got too far into the killer's mind. As yeah, this result, is the law before they added more to it. So he was sort of in, uh, by this in five. Because in, in five, they had him like always be a weirdo since he was a kid. But this kind of implies he was pretty much normal. I don't know, maybe he kind of became more normal after the events of five and then became fucked up again. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There mm. must be some way. There must He's be some trick. People, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. There's got to be a way, surely. Uh, wait, no. Yep, still circled to select things. Are Did the same to Liquid's backstory. Yeah, yeah. It, I noticed that so when they were nice talking about when they introducing Liquid in the uh, in the briefing in this. It's like, uh, does that exactly match up? With what we know of where he was in it's Phantom true. Pain. Your enemy is a powerful telepath, but mm. you've got more battle experience. You can do it, Snake. Okay. Uh, right, Meryl's unconscious. Why would Meryl be able to answer? No. A psychic soldier, yes. Although they will not admit it, many countries have paranormal programs and use psychics in their special ops. Hell yeah. Range and power from those who can bend Love the, to the intersection of cool, disaster. realistic military shit. Spec up shit with, like, weird paranormal stuff in Metal Gear. It's the best. Hey, Arkan, what do you know about this? Please, Snake, you've got to save her. Really, is the appeal of MGS? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like, we never really got anything like that in, in Metal Gear 1 and 2. And they started doing it more here. And it's very enjoyable. So I know about the controller thing. I just, I don't know if we need to do that now. Or if that's coming up. But we'll see. He's not taking any shots now. He's just throwing a bunch of crap at me. Which a lot of it, yeah, I think we can just prone under. Now, why would I be worried? Let him do his thing. Oh fuck! Fake glitches, time capsules that only really work on particular kind of hardware. Your TV has got the green text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Undertale plays around with the PC game a bit. They can't do that on console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like someone playing this now who didn't know the historical context of TVs doing that back in the day just wouldn't understand, you know? I'd say, like, I'd say Arkham Knight is a bit more elegant, uh, no, Arkham Knight, uh, Arkham Asylum is a bit more elegant with that, because it's, it just, it's not a specific thing like that, it's just like, oh, the game bug, and now you're back at the start of the game again, but it's different, ooh, 
several games that crash deliberately. It's not really allowed on consoles. Yeah, yeah, like that would get past certification. Yeah, there's definitely games like that that I'm aware of. There's like some PC horror games that play around with breaking the fourth wall. I guess that qualifies as an example of this. I hadn't thought of those. It reminds me, there's that game that came out not too long ago where it, it, it doesn't crash deliberately, but it plays around with the idea of like windows in a pc game uh window kill it's called and that's quite cool i guess do we do we do the thing now because i can do the thing uh i just have to go into controller settings again and reassign the controller will he stop being able to read my mind now or is that like i don't know yeah now i can hear him there you go i guess there would have been a codec call to tell you that but i already know so where you at? I can hear you with directional audio. Oh, shit. That. The power of the prone. Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't think he'd bring it back in. Okay. Crashes and restarts will probably never go away. Yeah. No. Oh, God. Green effect it does uh, as it crashes to seem old in the future. Well, I'm trying to remember exactly how it goes. Doesn't it like, it does kind of like a fake blue screen type thing. But I guess since it's not, I, I don't I don't think they're they're actually like imitate, oh God, imitating any particular uh, systems like crashing. Oh God, crashing method. Okay, those we actually have to avoid. It kind of won't become as dated. Oh god. Like an old Windows blue screen or a new Windows blue screen would eventually become dated. But if you just Im imitate nothing, at least directly. And that's, that's a lot of help. I'm very bad with the fan ass. There we go. I haven't had time to do more VR training, so. Yeah, it's just not worth getting up while the chairs are in play. Oh god. Get back down! Get back down, you fool! Fuck. Might take me in a attempt or two. Yeah, we just have to keep the aggro up. Yeah, we're chunking through his health. Like, there's definitely still those times where you need to find moments of opportunity, but it's not as much like that as it was with Ocelot. Like, you just need to make opportunities. Oh shit! Oh fuck! No, don't be crouched for that one. Ah! Oh. Pressing the wrong button. Okay, okay, okay. This is a good warmer. This is a good warmer. Nike! Oh fuck! Jesus. It would look weird on a CRT, for example. Yeah, yeah, I guess. There's stuff like that that you just can't account for, like changing uh, standards for hardware and software. I guess software is easy, easier to work around. Yeah, because I changed the controller port. Fuck it. You may know I like Castlevania, but nothing else. Ah, right. Back on this again. Oh, boy. Um, right. That. And then beat the shit out of it again. Oh, but he's still doing his thing. Just get a KO'd, I guess. Oi. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And yeah, changing the control port is crazy. As a needing to do it to beat the boss. Like, not even making the fight easier. No. Don't do that. That's a deagle. It will definitely blow her apart. Uh, fucking get in there. Oh, shit. Uh, she's alive. Somehow. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, back to it then. Or not. No, no, don't. Don't do that. Oh, now she's dead. Okay, fuck. Uh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have let her get that first shaft that left her at 1 HP. Man. Right, that's uh, both my attempts of this fight now have ended with me murdering Meryl. There you have it. Uh, if only I had some manner of crank gun. That'd be handy. All right, back to the start again. But, uh, yeah, we should be... Yeah, still on controller port 2.
So we'll immediately be able to do damage as soon as we get to that phase. Agri just hates women that way. I mean, I've got my issues. But I wouldn't I wouldn't beat a woman to death. Don't need to hit her. Oh, I don't know, do I? Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? I only have foggy memories don't of like this entire me. game. That's what's worked in the past. Yeah, yeah. Skip that. I just said to him. Mr. Foxhound, the commander is Where's the tail? He says as he reloads his gun. No, that's your narrative. That is, that is untrue. Inaccurate, even. I'm going to sprint for that ration if we can make it there. Before the, the actual situation starts. What weapons do you have? Uh, These. I guess I can stun it, right? You'd probably want to use the stuns now that I think about it. Instead of beating the ever loving shit out of it. Oh, the stuff hasn't spawned yet. Okay. I guess I'll stun her then. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like Mantis said. I'm like I I go head first. Yeah yeah. I go head first into into things. I brute force. I just beat the shit out of my problems. Beat shit. There we go. And that takes us straight down without any damage taken. Perfect. Yeah, I gotta think more about my tool set. I wanna hear him say the line again. Honestly, I worked hard enough for it. We'll watch the cutscene until we get there. I've missed this game and your Metal Gear talk. Actually, yeah, it's perfect since you just got here, gal. We gotta show the cutscene again. I have had playthroughs in the past year. Feels fresh. Yeah, that's. I, I often do the same kind of thing when I know I'm planning to play something in the future. Like, I avoid watching videos on a thing or watching people play a thing so I can be as fresh as possible. Like, if it's something I've never played before or know anything about, then that's easy. But, you know, Metal Gear, I know the entire plot, or I have known the entire plot of the all the games at one point or another. So it's good to take time away and make it fresh again. Yeah, he said, like, that's his only criticism, is that I'm careless. And fair enough, I've been caught a bunch of times in stupid ways. Wait, did he just say I'm a poor warrior? He didn't say that before, did he? He said I was a skilled warrior. He's, he's BMing me because he kicked my ass. Fuck it. I must have been, like, just at the threshold of whatever it is that uh, changes that voice line. You like Castlevania, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. There we go. That's all I that's all I needed you to see. <laughs> uh okay, right, back into it. Yeah, like I said, had to uh start a playthrough of Symphony of the Night up to the point where I could get to a save room just to get that tap. All worth it. Alright, time to eat shit. That's what I'm doing to you now. Largely. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shouldn't have stood right in front of him. Probably will continue. Oh, probably will continue that Symphony of the Night playthrough at some point, though. Off stream. Okay, I'm not gonna get got by the chairs this time. Probably could. Like, you don't have much time. Oh god, to uh, to stay safe, standing up with the chairs. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I could probably outrun these. Yeah. Means we can ah maintain the aggression. Nice. Can't breathe. Maybe you shouldn't wear a gas mask, dummy. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, I imagine, I don't know, it was probably Kojima himself. Who was like, yeah, just put, have it, have it be Hideo instead of video. I can see, oh god, I can see him saying something like, oh, it's because I'm presenting it or something. I, I do love Kojima. Just, oh god. Funny when he does little self-insert stuff like that. Hey, I have no more heals. I've taken a lot of dumb damage. We may have to redo this again. I 
Do we? Just so, gotta be careful when he sends the paintings out, because those we actually need to dodge. Is that happening now? No. Oh, God. You forget any shotguns you with them like that. That's it there. Okay, yeah. We I mean, just avoid that. I don't know if he specifically goes up to the left there. Whenever he's gonna do that move, maybe we can read it, see it coming. Oh, I can hear you. The power of stereo audio. Actually incredibly useful. Hey, nice. And I'm Agnes. I did start before you arrived. I started him twice before you arrived. But I can tell you that I got the Castlevania line. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, back to the stuns. Don't get fucking domed. Go, go, go. Don't get domed by the deagle. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the stun's down. Okay, now I just can't get hit. You are powerful indeed. Damn right. Mm -hmm. stand right where he can see you and right. throw your brains out. This is where we failed previously, but we know what to do. Stop! Meryl! We got a pot. Look, he's holding it ready to go. Just send it. Uh, yeah, there you go. That did it. Or that would be too far away. No, They've got good range. No. Yeah, we. she's not been shot or punched. No bones broken. Just her retinas are... Ruined forever. That's fine. Nice. Gotta be really careful with how little health I have. Yeah, I heard him over there. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! Oh. Okay, that was close. Any minute now. There we go. We should be back now or back soon. I, I, I've got to appreciate the computer dinging at me to tell me the internet died. Uh, hello. I hope we're back. Like Windows is being a, a dick on top of that, right? Because I've and hello, I'm back. Um, because like my internet died briefly as it does, as it did at the end of the stream yesterday. It really was Mantis coming to fuck up my ISP. God damn it, man. It's extending out of the game, Kojima's influence. Um, yeah, Windows is being annoying too because I've got like the game on my first monitor and then Windows on my second monitor for stream stuff, OBS, whatever. But then the little search bar in Windows just isn't fucking working because obviously, I mean, for that, it's not obvious. It's stupid. For some reason, you can't get the little bitty that shows like your network stuff and like your sound mixer. Uh, you can't get all those buttons on your second monitor. So I had to, I would, I, I have to glo like bring up the network status thing in Windows, but I can't even go find it. How devious, cutting you off from chat and moral support. Yeah, actual evil behavior. Forgiven since I died. Okay, thank you. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Let's do it again. I'm not gonna, not gonna, oh, yeah, right, yeah. I keep thinking that's part of the cutscene. I'm not gonna go through okay. the cutscene again. He's got, he says the Castlevania line. We got it. I can get the clip. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, the door, it do be closing. Wish I had more health and more ration. That's on me, being bad at the game. Yep. <laughs> I'll skip this. 
but should be able to skip from the next shot. Yeah, fades to black, indicating it's going to a proper cutscene. Okay, uh, should put my rations on as well. Yep, don't need to stop to throw my grenades either. That's a good thing to keep in mind. You'd think you'd have to, wouldn't you? But no, this game's very good about that. Does Meryl be the one with the cool visor in MGR2? Yeah, I hope that's she'll need it. Trick. She'll only be able to see white for the rest of her life after now, this. Let me read your mind. Oh, you can skip straight to the mind reading? I should say oh, okay. I'll let, it, I'll let it play out again. I want to hear the line again. Third time's a charm. You have to get past him telling me I'm shit, though. I swear he didn't say I was a poor warrior the first time. Yeah, I've never fucked up bad with traps. Still don't believe me. Mm. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Ah, yeah, I just need to be. I, I need to be careful with my entire screen awareness. You like Castlevania, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to get bunked over the head by a chair. Just watch if something's coming. Except we play Steel Battalion on the Xbox. I mean, I do have a working OG Xbox. Hello? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I guess you get forced to listen to this if you die enough times. But I figured this out already. Yeah, I know. That's for scrubs who die not being able to figure it out. But I guess they don't check. They don't, they don't check to see that you actually have figured it out, though. Yeah, gotta keep moving as well. Last chance of getting hit by anything then. No. Yeah, having a having a steel battalion controller would be really cool. I probably won't get one, but it would be sick. I've got two original Xboxes actually. Uh, one, I think one of them has a bad disk drive. They do both work. I haven't done much with it. I gotta mod it at some point. Oh, okay. Loaded. Hey. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty bad. Should crouch or prone for that one. Hard to avoid the shotgun blast. Oh, no. Oh, it does so much damage. Said I wasn't going to take dumb damage. And yet here we are. I guess, like, what is actually... Oh, shit. What is actually happening there? Is it just a full-on momentary psychic attack? Just inducing a blackout for a couple of seconds? I guess it's the most he can manage on Snake. Ow! Okay, that can hit you while you're laying down. Did not know. Oh, and even says, like, I can't read him. I need to be careful now. Look at him with his iframes. Oh, oh god. Want to like not stand too close to him in case he does the attack where he throws the thing directly at you. I'm just gonna crouch for that. Okay. But then again, with these games, they they just fully acknowledge the weird fourth wall breaks as if they happened exactly as they appeared to. So Snake probably would just describe seeing like a, a weird screen that says today on it. It is not an analog for him doing something else. It is him just doing that to you. All right, don't throw an actual grenade at it. Get owned. And yeah, he's going to like get her up again immediately for the, the suicide attempt. Meryl's great, but I wouldn't say she's my weak point. And I'm not going to let her die. Stop, Meryl. But, like, same as I wouldn't let anyone die, you know, in this situation. I guess you probably can't get any damage in during that moment. Okay, we've got, a, we got our entire ration now. got a decent little bit of health to work with here. 
teleport faster at this point. Oh, God. Yeah, he's, like, more aggressive now. Feels like it is, anyway. Just throwing things directly at, uh, directly at you more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's better to run and then shoot. But he doesn't stay around for long. I don't know if he can. It's better to be further away and just land the shot quickly. I guess that prevents him from firing, too. Or throwing. Ah! Thought I could clear that one. Yeah, the analog stick would maybe help me more here. Oh, wait! Is the analog, is the analog mode not working? Uh, yeah, I think that did pause it. Uh... Oh no, it's on digital mode. There we go. Right. I guess that changes when you change the port. Hey. Oh god. Okay. He's barely there. Oh. So quick though. Uh, I used my ration already. Yeah. Fuck. I'm in danger. Hey, don't take any risks here. <laughs> Let him do his thing. Oh, God. Hey, get down. Get down. Okay. Woo. Yeah, he's doing multiple things at a time now. There we go. Speaking of expanded movesets, actually. I play... Oh, shit. Right over the desk. Nice. I played a little bit more of Devastation after yesterday's stream. And they totally do the... The character action Colonel, game thing of the higher difficulties having okay. different enemy Thanks, placements. Snake. I owe you one. Use dregs for now you. Yeah, I know there's a few Meryl's things in here. There's like ghost photo stuff, right yes. in here. But why did you go so far out of your way? Yeah, there's some her. details in here. For we will Campbell's have a look sake, around. Maybe it's but also, like I only did like a bit of the first level again, right and they hit you with the hammer guys on the tutorial fight, and like the advanced CPs. It's true that uh, but also during the first, that mean uh, I'm have paying heart. attention to the dialogue. Okay, don't worry. Uh, during the first She's Devastator right. fight, when you get him down to half, he immediately goes into his second phase with the drill hands, which he doesn't usually do on that first fight. I don't think he did anyway. Yeah, it's cool. I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong yep. man doesn't need to read the future. He mm. makes his own. Strong man needs two controller ports. So. And stun grenades. Oh. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. Mm -hmm. You have to go through that hidden door. Okay, he's given us good advice, at least. Door behind the bookcase. Yeah, where else would it be? The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Mm hmm. Go past the communication towers. And You've even got a handy dandy hologram. Why are you telling hmm. me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands. In his own interest, help point out the way. Yeah, I guess. Oh, he's such a freak. <laughs> oh, gross. Do you have to react it's like that? The man's dying. I into Come on. With the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. Ugh, gross. It was enough to make me sick. Yeah, me too. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. Mm. They're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. He doesn't want to be horny anymore. The he just wants to be us. happy. Yeah! That's we actually no his past, deal. No future. He's like, ooh, we icky. The and then he put a mask on. That's our only purpose. Yeah, imagine. You're about to die. And one of the last things you ever hear anyone say to you is, Ew, gross. Referring to you. That sucks. We're thrown into this world. We're fated to bring each other nothing but pain. He didn't look that bad. He's fine. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. Mm. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. 
Uh, my mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was yeah, going to like kill when, me. Whenever you see mind reading betrayed, it's almost That's always just a curse. Like, absolutely horrible. I lost my past as well. I have to suffer with that. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Mm. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> mm. It's more scary, like a skull. Yeah, yeah, kinda. We are truly the same, you and I. I don't know. Maybe all you know. We're, we're limited in how he can look because of the PS One. Good as he does look. Like you in... We'll see how he looks in Twin Snakes. <laughs> I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. Hmm. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You yeah. monster. Let him talk. Hey, shut up. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Yeah. Just, it's, you, Snake. you know, again, it's not his You're fault. Just He's like just boss. fucked up by the way that he is and with complete no, exposure to, Compared to you, the minds of people around him. So bad. It would fuck you up. Like, you wouldn't be able to be normal being born like that. Are you, you a decent thing? Is it? What the heck? Is well. Why is it being so bad today? I saw you there. Yeah, maybe because the stream technically restarted during the large place in the internet heart. going down. A large place. Yeah, that adds more to that theory if yes. that's the case. Very a odd. Large place. But I do not know. Want to say something about burning connections? Oh, I know, I know, I know very well. I have a last request. Oh, what it wasn't the capture. Fix when I refresh. Oh well, that's fine. Put it back on. It still remains okay. a mystery. Like this. Other people's thoughts. Yeah, well, well, I guess it was maybe because of the disconnect. On, be it was like myself. an issue on Twitch's end, maybe. I, I don't know. Be left alone in my own world. <laughs> I wish streaming was easier and things just work. I'll open the door for you. Mess up our ends' ability to think things. Yeah, exactly. Because the whole, like, the, the screen they throw up, that's an option you can turn off. The screen they throw up the when there's a disconnect like that. I've, I've known it to cause sync issues before. It's like the... I think it was the last... Yeah, it was the last Entropy Zero 2 stream had an issue like that. Where the internet cut out. And then the VOD ended up, like, weird and desynced. And I had to manually fix it, which took me ages. Yeah, it's just not a perfect system there, I think. It was weird with that, though, because watching Meryl. the VOD was fine. But then if you download it or make a clip Meryl. of it, then it became desync. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? I mean, what did you want to... How did you want to stop him? Leave you, here. you don't have anti-psychic right. training, do you? Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're mm. right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, oh, one, can I uh, one forty oh seven, one forty point six six codec. Right, yes. Said. We will, uh, we will have a look around. Try not to miss anything. Now. But I will call those. Oh, no, nothing. So tell me, Snake, what's your name? Mm. Your real name. A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Trying to get the Any snake family? dogs. No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? Every I've life never been interested in connection anyone else's to Vader's life. passing. It is kind of similar, so isn't it? The the horrific unmasking. Like Other people Besides playing the new Lego life. Star Wars, the the newest one, I don't yesterday like as well. Involved. Did a bit today as well. You're Very good game. Man. Come on. No, just, why are you so mean to everyone, Meryl? You know. Hey. We get the HP. Oh, right, yeah. They're like, by the way, hey, like, we're done with this gimmick now. Change it back. Not even, like, not even... Oh, wait, no. There you go. Not even hitting you with the, like, a codec call just to remind you. It's like, no, just do it. Hey, just do it. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, analog mode. There we go. And thank you for the stretch and the coolant as well. Ugh. Hey, there we go.
colon, one sec. Mm. Yeah, it's very refined. It's obviously, I mean, I just recently 100%ed Complete Saga. That's very fresh in my mind, but I, you know, would be able to tell the differences anyway, because those games are ingrained in my mind. But, uh, like, they refined the systems a lot, but kind of maintained all the charm, too. Even, you know, adding voice acting and not just doing the mumble talking, it, it works. They, they still have that element of physical comedy in the same way the, the classic games did. Like, they really did a good job of making it work. And you do have an option to turn it back to mumble talking if you want to. So, right, let's take those, let's pull those frequencies. Then we'll have a look around here. There's, there's something with ghost, pho ghost photography in here. I remember. I don't know if it's in the corners or something to do with the portraits. Wrong button. No response. And... Da, 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 da. No response. All right. Okay, then. Uh, let's have a look around, then. Uh, do, we, do we need the scope for this? Like, I remember. I, I, I remember, like, looking into this trivia many years ago. It's like, wasn't it like you look into certain spots in the room? Meryl just scared the shit out of me. Uh, I could have sworn there was something like this. Hmm. But it is a very, very nicely decorated room, at least. On the portraits? I don't know, maybe it was a Twin Snakes thing. Oh, fuck. Wait, is my cam- I think my camera's clipping through that portrait. Should have played a Metal Gear soundtrack? Huh. It's weird. Well, this isn't what I was looking for, but it's cool that you can do that. I guess this is actually making the camera move forward when you do this. So you can end up clipping through things like that. That's odd. I didn't know about that, actually. What are you staring at? Hmm. And yeah, right, these busts. Oh, right, yeah, there's dialogue for that. I wasn't looking at you. Come on, Snake. Yeah, the bust has, like, tape wrapped all around its face. Because Mantis has, you know, those issues with his self-image. Don't self -image. stare at me like that. Hmm. Yeah, there was something. I don't remember what it was. Can we peek inside her polygon with this trick? We'll see. I don't know. Character models might have different rules. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh wait. We've got to get a move on. Hmm. Like what? Watch the the background relative to Meryl. When I zoom, you see <laughs> how you like doing? past a certain point she stops zooming, on. but the background doesn't. It kind of looks like she's being pushed back. I guess that's how they prevent you from clipping into character <laughs> models. What are you doing? We've is you can only zoom on. into them so far. That's a good trick. That's a good way of doing it. Her bust is also wrapped up, not making it easy for her to understand. What are you doing? Uh, We've got to get a move on. Yeah, it's a nice touch, that. Isn't it? Like, it's kind of... It, it's weird. A little bit. <laughs> what are you doing? Almost We've motion sickness inducing. On. Not that I get motion sick. Which version are you playing? Uh, it should be the US version. Original US version, I think, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's specifically the, um, the PS3 download, uh, version. Whichever version that is. What's a tattoo? It's the, um, the old Foxhound logo. Um, actually, I think we can zoom in on it. She's got it at a perfect angle here. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, it's you the original Foxhound on. logo in, like... All, almost unrecognizable. You can just about make it out. Very pixelated, <laughs> though. Doing? But, uh, well, they on. did a good enough job considering PS1 textures. They did okay. All right, let's press on. We didn't solve any mysteries. Maybe I'll do more mystery research for Twin Snakes when we get around to that. Oh, there's a ration there, too. Easter egg should have played. Okay, that's weird. But yeah, we can... I'm okay with missing some stuff like that this time around. I assume a lot of it is going to show up in Twin Snakes. And probably for Twin Snakes, I'll do a lot more research into funny little stuff to look into. Since we'll Could effectively be playing here? through this game wolf a second dogs, time. Half wolf, half husky. How do you hmm. know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Yeah. He's willing to talk about himself a little bit, just when I'll it's take... things he cares about. Snake, you follow me. Past television was so low resolution you wouldn't be able to make out this obscene tattoo. Honestly, it might be the opposite. 
because there was there was some discourse surrounding like oh games are supposed to be you know pixel art is a lie games are supposed to be played on crts and shit like that and though there are like cool little tricks to certain pixel art that um depended on you playing on a crt like symphony of the night is a good example the dracula character portrait he has the little when you're seeing it on a modern display he has just like single pixels red dots in his eyes when you see that on a crt the color bleeds over into the adjacent pixels and it creates a really cool eye glow effect uh, it's the same reason why in punch out mike tyson has weird fucked up inverse eyes because the white color in the middle is supposed to fill out the eyes um but it doesn't work that way but i don't know maybe if you were playing this on a crt the pixels would kind of blend together and make a much smoother image so it would look more like the original we definitely wouldn't be able to maintain that level of detail it's a more complex image than just putting a couple of colored dots in there but uh it's neat the way things work i've seen mel gear 2 now <laughs> these visuals are mind-blowing right right like playing through everything in order like this it makes you appreciate appreciate everything that much more every every change that is made and every advancement in the technology i mean i mean we're not going straight to metal gear solid 2 after this but look forward to having probably having your mind blown more when we get to metal gear solid 2 because that game is still fucking incredible looking like a m immense gorgeous game you can call the save number six times but don't save for a secret okay let's call mei ling I th oh shit i pressing the wrong buttons playstation buttons japan buttons god damn it not the jump to 3d but the recognizability Snake too yeah yeah i know I can't use it in a narrow space like this, right? Right. I guess I should I'm call sorry. everyone as well. No Let's just keep apologize. calling Mei Ling. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. Hmm. Be careful, Snake. Okay. Mei Ling, I need your help. What's up, Snake? Uh, nothing. Talk to you later, Snake. Mei Ling, it's an emergency. You caught Snake? No, I didn't. I just Come on, Snake. pressed Don't the button back. No reason. Mei Ling, I'm dying. Uh oh, she's angry. <laughs> the portrait changed. I'm I'm sorry, Mei Ling. I won't do it again. Oh, look at her! Look at her! <laughs> oh, I love this game. Mei Ling. <laughs> No. <laughs> Portrait just she just stayed angry that time. That was a different one. Mei Ling. <laughs> Are we just stuck on this now or is there more? Right old staring contest, yeah. Hey! <laughs> she stuck her tongue out. Did you see that? Oh, that was cute. I assume that was what we were going for. <laughs> Found out the keyboard controls for anniversary collection can't be changed. Oh, that does suck. I mean, you can get controllers for cheap, though. It's, it's worth doing. It's very not. It's preferable having, like, D-pad controls for a game like that. Be careful. Wolves mm. have the advantage in the dark. Yeah, let's see what not everyone else has to say. Better, but they have a keen sense of That's smell as well. Yeah, I remember you that one. There's a lot of this goggles. stuff I've forgotten, but there's vague memories. Like with the ghost photo stuff. I love cute little details like that. Don't suddenly and, you know, they've got the multiple dark. discs to work with now. They can fit more stuff like that in. Area. If you do that, your eyes will gradually yeah. adjust and you'll be able to see Is that a mechanic dark. in this? I know that's a thing in, in 3 either. that you can do. You end up in the caves in 3. And you can, like, you can smoke a cigar for a bit of light. You can make a torch for a bunch of light. You can have the night vision goggles. Or you can just raw dog the cave. Which is a gross thing to say. I now realize. Um, and Snake's eyes will gradually adjust to the darkness. I guess I could use the night vision goggles here as well, because I have those. No response. Because she's right here somewhere. Wherever she went. It is so ironic. People mm. are working as slaves to pay for weapons that must never be used. Weapons that target the people themselves. It is madness. Yeah, Nuke's bad. I agree. I agree. Otacon, how's it going? Always got to be checking in. Snake, Metal Gear is in an underground base to the north. Hurry! 
You should use your night vision goggles in dark places. Hmm, that's what I was thinking. The yeah, Otacon, yo, know, Miller says like, nah, just get, just adjust your eyes to the dark. It's that easy. Whereas Otacon is like, no, use this cool tech. It makes sense. It only does so much though. Oh, there's a little gap in the wall here. Is that? Hey, yeah, she's in there. Uh, how'd you get over there? <laughs> we have to blow that open, do we? Do we? I assume there'd be like a crawl space or somewhere. Or something somewhere. Oh, and we've got like this different first person mode when you're first person with the MVGs. That's cool. Do we have something like that for the thermals as well? Yeah! Mode A and mode B. Because we saw there was an overlay for the gas mask as well, which is nice. Yeah, they have that for anything you wear on your face. Cool. And the cardboard box as well. Mm hmm. No, me and Mei Ling will let you snake while he has his cigarettes equipped. Right, yeah, it's classic. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm smunking. Are you smoking? <laughs> angry. Yeah, so what? I do Did like you know Naomi's angry portrait. Benzopyrene, a chemical that leads to lung cancer. We mm. now know that when benzopyrene enters the so body, it changes to with more dimension. Yeah. You know, like we keep saying, there's so much in this and future games as well, gene, but largely this that were done in Metal Gear 1 and 2 first, but the P53 gene in with, the, with the jump in technology and the amount of time between games, it's absolutely tissue. worth retreading the you same ground and just science, doing it better. But you don't know how good a cigarette tastes in the morning. Hmm. Yeah, science can't explain that, can it? No, Mei Ling's gonna make me feel guilty. Oh, right. I guess she's still angry at me for before. Uh, I'll save. So maybe she won't be angry at me anymore. Old games tell me not to smoke. Yeah. Snake, are you smoking there a we cigarette? Go. Cigarettes are poison. They kill people. Didn't you hear what Dr. Naomi said? Yeah, like she, she specifically says that referring so to the conversation I just had death. with Naomi. Is that why you smoke, Snake? You're too afraid of life? Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It just, it cuts deeper. It cuts deeper when it's Mei Ling. I don't want to let Mei Ling down. I guess we've got to go that way. There's no, like, hidden crawl space here or anything. I mean, she's over there. How did she get there? If we can't get through. If she's squeezed in. Can we crawl through this? Doesn't look like you'd be able to. Hmm. Okay, my next thought is C4. This is the wrong, uh, wrong side for that. You may not use the Nikita here. Understandable. That did not do it. How did you get in there? What, what happened? Shouldn't have let her go ahead of me. Would have been able to see what she did. How, how did she do that? Hmm. What have I missed? Oh wait, there's stuff up there. We can't like... Oh wait, can we climb under this? Ah, there's a gap there. Oh shit. But there's dogs. Oh god. I know the dogs, they like, they like Meryl. And you can get them to piss on your butt. And then they'll like you. It's a very nicely modeled dog. Of the blue, yeah, yeah. It's a very pretty game, this. Will they, will they piss on the box now? Or is that later on? I know you come back through here. You're not bothered by me, dog? And yeah, I think the dogs get really, really pissed off if you attack Meryl as well. And they'll murder you because they like it. Oh God, I'm just a box. Get the shit out of me. Oh god, it's got red eyes! Oh! It looks like Dracula. Oh god, okay. I don't want to kill the dogs. I'm not gonna... No, 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 no. Meryl, help! Oh, Jesus. It's fucking terrifying. Oh, seeing it come at me in first person. Let me just put my uh, rations on. We can carry four rations now, just in case. Uh, oh god. I will not, I will not harm the dogs. Ah, they're devouring me! Jesus! Way out of here. Maybe I should just try to get away. Uh. 
Oh, Jesus. At least I saved. <laughs> God. God. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Ah! Oh, okay. The text is cut off, so it just says Amass Bullet. Uh, oh, my God! The Wombo Combo. Jesus. Oh, my God! I can't get away! Oh, God. Sight for Compound Fractures release. Yeah, yeah. Whenever it does come. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, they'll fuck you up. Look at the eyes. That's scary as fuck, dude. They're still aggroed on me. Nah. I might fuck up some of the pigeons in, in two. I'm not fucking... I'm not fucking up... Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay, they can, they can come this way, it turns out. Okay, maybe they'll stay over there for a bit, though. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Okay, now I can look around in first person a bit. Oh, they're distracted. Fucking hell! Uh, put the NVGs on. Oh god, they're back. Oh god. Can't find the way to go! Oh wait, it's probably here. I see a gap. Yeah, there you go. It's very hard to tell with the top-down perspective uh, where little gaps like that are in a in a natural cave wall. Like, they're easier to see in, in the actual base areas. There's just a loot spot. Another diazepam. I think I saw another one. Another way to go. On the right from here. Oh. They seem to have calmed down. Puppy! Hi! Oh, the puppy! Maybe you need the puppy to piss on you? Pulling Miller before he tells Snake the gnome he might be an enemy spy will lead to Miller giving a short lecture on Northern Ravens. Oh, that's cool. Uh, well, he hasn't done that yet, so I guess we could try calling him now. See if he has anything to say. When you're fighting in the dark, you need to use your mm. sense of hearing and smell. Don't trust your eyes. Oh gosh, you won't mind snake Use smoking since she's a smoking too. That's Feel nice. Feel the flow of the air with your whole body. That's the way to tell where your enemy is. I'm sorry, Miller. Game's technology isn't advanced enough for that yet. People sometimes panic in the dark. He's got Try a lot to say cool. about this specific area. When you're wearing night vision goggles, the light mm. gets amplified a hundredfold. So yeah, don't wear them in the light. Yeah. Grenade, you may burn your retinas. If mm. that happens, it'll take a little I guess, while yeah, if you have the, the, the MVGs on and you get a stun or an explosion, it just fucks you up even worse. Which is fun. Not fun to have it happen to you, but fun that it can happen. Don't suddenly look into the dark. Look slowly from a light area to a darker area. Yeah, he said this before. Okay. Ah, yeah, the dog's here. Okay, let me... Maybe he'll piss on me. The buppy, the buppy is not hostile. Look at him. I don't know if you need him to piss on you, or one of the other dogs, if that's later on or something. Yeah, he's very cute, though. Cute little guy. Look at him. Look at the fella. Aww. This tail's wagging too. Lovely. Aren't you lovely? Oh god. Just saw the big dog over there. Look at him. Ugh. Not gonna come in here, is he? We're fine. We're fine. Just me and the puppy. Oh, I can... Oh, I didn't know you could lean. Like this. Well, I guess you can do that while you're standing up too. Huh. That's good to know. Good discovery. Uh, call Miller while walking on a noisy floor. He might make a comment. Okay, okay. Yeah, so he's just going to follow me around, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, let's make a move. Me and you, Bobster. Oh, God. I think there's something to the right, maybe? I don't see another way to crawl through up ahead. Oh, shit. No, you didn't see anything. No, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. There we go. Their eyes activate. 
Why are you like that, dog? Is this one just patrolling here? I might get into trouble no matter what. Unless I can figure out the dog piss mechanics. Oh, he just wants to sit there. I don't think there's anything else I could do to induce... To induce pissing. You just gotta make a run for it. Let's go. I think over to the right here we can go. Yeah, there you go. I figured there was a gap there. There we go. Oh, the puppy's going for Meryl. Oh, see, he loves Meryl. Yeah, they all love Meryl. Snake, what's wrong? For having murdered I me. You were good with dogs. Not these ones. These ones aren't trained. They are very cute, though, when they're not doing the Dracula eyes and trying to murder me. Look at that. That's a nicely modeled PS1 dog. Seeing this dog kind of makes me wish we had gotten, like, you know, like the, the, uh, the Thing game. I wish we had gotten that one generation early and then we could have a horrific Thing dog that starts out like this and then all the polygons burst open. That's, that really is just a scaled down version of this dog, isn't it? Doesn't have puppy proportions. Hmm. Uh, thanks for the ration, I guess. Uh, let's press on. Is this a keycard door? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go. The cold characters in the women's bathrooms. I should. I should have done that earlier. We'll probably get the chance to do it again. Oh, shit. I know, I know you can do that in MGS too. This place is mine. I'll take yeah. mine again. Stay back, okay? But the okay. radar is working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me. I mean, I have the, I have the infrareds. I've never had a mine detector. Maybe that's just something I've missed. I mean, he said we can't use it. Maybe we just never supposed to have it? I don't know. And you know, crawling all, always works on mines. But yeah, they want to show off their cool footprint technology, which is sick. Not really as much snow over on the right there, though. Yeah, using top-down view for it. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? It's Pretty a good, good use of their huh? limitations, too. How did you too. know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you huh. impressed? Well, a little bit. I guess she Only just, like, inherited little? some of his memories and knowledge. Not, like, didn't, like, become psychically active. But, yeah, look, I mean, you can just do this still. Like, do not need to engage with this in the intended way at all. And the, foot, the footsteps do gradually disappear. Yeah, we can just do that. Anyway. It's so much harder after one and two compared to using another yeah, angle. Yeah, just the camera being able to move and being able to go into first person and see the entire completed space Meryl, around you. Meryl. It's so nice. Oh, God. That's a lot of blood, too. Oh! Multiple of those shots. It's real bad. Like, look how much blood is on the floor in an instant. Like, all that, oh, those blood bottles were there after the first shot. And she eats three. Call Natasha enough time, she'll tell her backstory. Yeah, I've definitely just got to call a lot more people. I'm learning. Leave me and run. Meryl. Meryl. I guess I am a rookie after all. Mm. Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. Oh, the motif again. That. It's the oldest trick in the book. I mean, Campbell's the definitely gonna have something to say about this. To lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. Uh. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I've killed you enough times I lately. Promised. Bad enough. I would slow you down. I, I. I. I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. Yeah. If you want to help, just chill out, and then we'll get you sorted out. And then you'll be able to help me. I will. Yeah. 
snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up. Kojima really was trying to pull this kind of scene with Metal Gear 2. When what's her name dies? Can't remember her name. But the lady. Now get out of here. He only really had the technology, I guess, to do it closer to the way he wanted to do it Meryl. with the PlayStation 1. Damn. Snake, it's a trap. You don't say. The trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it. it must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's mm. best shooter. Snipers usually work. Does she have any way to treat her own wounds? Huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just I mean, she's no the she's end, waiting though. For you to expose yourself. Maybe so, mm. but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here oh, and the tower. Strategy, actually? She what, must be like, on the second floor of the tower. Like the if Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you Two man sniper team? I think I think position. that is generally how and snipers do stuff. Like you have a sniper and a spy. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. Or do you mean like shooting someone and Meryl, using no them as a trap? Takes. Imagine the stench on a okay. sniper. Oh yeah, Thanks. wounding someone to lure out people to save them. What's wrong, Naomi? I mean, I you would hope that I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. Uh, you got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of like morally questionable. Skin. But people probably do it. Far, but I don't know what the hell my You would genes maybe look like and maybe get care. tried for something for doing like that. Animal? Like that might I'm be a war crime. I don't know though. I don't need an excuse. Yeah, two man teams is the okay. bait. Yeah. And I'm not doing it for someone else either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake. If you only watch the first Thanks. case and then go back to the main menu, Snake would have tried to refuse the mission. Oh, that's really funny. What a great game. So many cute details. All right, let's uh, grab the rest of these mines. Right. Just call everyone. See where we're at. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone mm. knows that women have more patience than men, but well, Sniper Wolf can go for really? a whole week with no sleep, no food, a sight's never straying from her target. Mm. On top of that, might be a bit exaggerated. Have, so her hands never tremble. A lot of people bond during wars. So sometimes it's very hard to abandon a teammate. It would definitely work. It absolutely would work. Stay it's just whether people would be willing to do it or not. Yeah, but where can I find a sniper rifle? Yeah, we got to go all the way back Meryl. now, don't we? What about Dr. Emmick? He's been on the base for a while. He might know. Yeah, we've seen. We know where the PSG one is. Like right before um, Ocelot's room. Hey, Archon. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper mm. rifle? Meryl's been shot. It really is a hell of a time sniper. to make you go back, crap. Like all the way back to the start of the game when Meryl's on the back. ground bleeding I, out. But I guess it just encourages you to hurry. In the in the Maybe it would cause you to hangar. be careless and make mistakes. Of the tank hangar. I have to go all the way back there? Mm. Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Uh, just checking on everyone else as well. The most important tools you need to be a good sniper are the senses that you were born with. No amount of training can change oh, those. This is a rang that someone has rewarded. Yeah. From the beginning, Probably not you'll worth never trying. Be a great sniper. Mm -hmm. Gotta get my Nastasha calls in. Snake, you cannot win without a sniper rifle. You cannot save the girl either. Find mm -hmm. a sniper rifle. It is the only way to save Meryl. Mm-hmm. Snake, you cannot... Okay, probably can't get the backstory call right now. I'm not going to worry too much about getting every single call. Hey, Mei Ling. You die if you leave her like that. Aren't you going to save her? She's just yeah, I'm going to work on it's it. Me they want. If I step out there, I'm going to get picked off, and who's going to save Meryl then? You Mei Ling would I'm fall for it. As long as I don't fall for it, they'll leave Meryl alive. So you're mm. just going to leave Meryl there? She's hurt. I know what I'm doing. Meryl understands too. That's horrible. Mm. You're right. It is horrible. But that's war. And the first yep. rule of war is to stay alive. Snake at least acknowledges it. It's not like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the right thing and I'm morally, you know, perfect. Like, no, this does suck, but it's what we got to do, man. Right, so now we have to go through the walls again. 
Maybe now we can get pissed on. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Nah, the NPGs are better for this, even though it's kind of just a green overlay. It does help a little bit. Oh god. <laughs> it's immediate aggro, of course. Give the wiki page free strags. I'll, I'll probably look at it myself at some point. Like I said, I'm not too stressed about it right now. Especially since... I see how it, like, transitioned into the hunched down aggressive stance. That's a really great dynamic animation. But yeah, since, you know, we're playing this and we're going to play Twin Snakes when we get around to it. And it goes down for a sniff. Oh, the puppy! Oh! Hello. Hello, will you, will you do the, the biz now? But yeah, we could... Oh, God, Jesus, fuck. But yeah, we can we can treat that as a second playthrough and kind of I'll probably be more. Oh God! Oh Jesus! I did did, did the did a big dog just come in here? Oh God, it did! Oh no! Yeah, I'm not too worried about it right now. Oh God! Okay, let's just go. I I don't know how the piss mechanic works. Times the players to not get shot at. Don't, uh, so shields end up being unused weight. Yeah. We know our way out, at least. Just go. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Okay. There, there definitely is a piss mechanic. I just don't know how it works. And no one has told me how it works, so... I may not get to engage with it. Oh, well. Yeah, we're out of there. We will have to come back on the way back, though. Uh... All right, card level five. All right. Yeah, I guess now will be a good uh, opportunity to find out if there is any kind of item respawning. My assumption is there isn't. Because they were cutting down on it, even in Metal Gear 2. You could still get things to respawn. Uh... In second playthrough, if you submit in the torture room, what does that mean? That is, that is too vague a sentence. 99% sure it's not a strat, but it wouldn't have surprised me if getting one or more dogs to crowd around Meryl to act as cover was a thing. I mean, I think because, I don't know, because we know that the dogs are friendly with Meryl. So maybe if you run after it immediately, which I think you can do, I don't know. Maybe then uh, they don't aggro on you at all, maybe. I don't remember if we... Oh, I don't remember if we cleared out all these rooms. We'll just oh, check in on everything. Nice hiding spot. Oh. We did get caught in this room last time. Not not right here on the other side. I'm a little bit cautious. Guys, come to the other side now. Hey! Probably didn't come in here then. Or... Well, we're refilled now anyway. Probably don't stand anywhere near the glass doors. You can probably see through there. Oh. Ayo. Hey on the other side, but I'm watching that guy on the radar. Oh, there we go. Hey, ration! Big, 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 big. Mind blowing. Be able to switch from the overhead view to the cinematic behind the box. Yeah! Like, it's so impressive for its time. And it looks really great. It's It looks good. It's functional. It's technically impressive. What more could you ask for, really? That's level six. Oh, we can't do that yet. Down here. Yeah, we have been in there. But one, at least one of these fuckers will go in there. But I'm not going in there again. Yeah, he looks in there. Not safe. And that's more Daz Pam. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Just wait for him to clear it. There we go. Oh, God. Yep, we're fine. Oh, playing a little bit dangerous. But yeah, we'll take this opportunity to just run around and, and pick up stuff and see if there's any doors we can open now that we weren't able to before. Oh, God. 
Yep, still gotta wait for elevators. I guess enemies uh, aren't as alerted by you punching the button as they were previously. Oh, I guess that's where we are now. Basement 2, then. There we go. Yeah, Basement 2 is where we did all the Nikita stuff and where Atacan is. I don't, I don't think there were any doors we didn't open in here. I don't think. I mean, there might have... I mean, yeah, there's stuff there. Maybe I couldn't pick those up before. I think that's a ration, though. And we're... No, we're full on rations right now, though. Uh, although, I... No, I do need help. Like, I'm not at full health, so... Probably smart to resupply. Let's get in there. Have a quick run around of the whole place. Uh, hey, there's one as well. Goddamn. Pretty generous. I, I don't know. Maybe some stuff here respawned. Maybe it did. My memory isn't good enough to be 100% certain. I remember we went into that room with the camera I had to do a chaff to get in there. Maybe we'll be able to see if uh, things refilled there. Let's see. It doesn't look like there's anything in there, so maybe not. Yeah, for that camera. Submitting the Ocelot Torch part. You got Archon Stealth Camo. Right, yeah. I'm not going to do that because it's cringe. Yeah, these cameras respawn. Yeah, that's a bit of a concern. I guess I could just Nikita them again. Yeah, why not? That's it. There we go. I'm I'm willing to spend a few Nikitas on uh... Uh, Well, I'm I'm at full health right now, but we've got like yeah, we've got one slot open for rations. So I consider it a worthy exchange. Some of these we could maybe just stealth buy, but I'm Gucci. There we go. One up here. Oh god, it's fine. I'm fine. I think it I don't know if it spotted me or if it just spotted the, the missile. It probably just spotted the missile. There you go. And we got some chaffs. Much desired chaffs. Probably our um capacity for everything was increased. Oh there's the mine detector! Right, okay. Don't know if I've got much need of that. Let's just run out and refill my, my oxygen here. Yeah, I guess that, that must have been there before, and I just missed it somehow. Don't know how I managed that, but now we've got the mine detected. It's fine. If you know anything about Metal Gear, you know you don't need the mine detected. It is, it is just worse. Yeah, buried mine. Yeah, they show up on radar, which is nice, but just being able to see them is better. Breaked up the box thing? Yeah, I assumed I might have. Oh, well, there's something we can do in Twin Snakes. Like, we, we take this playthrough as a learning experience and a, not exactly a blind playthrough, but a more unfamiliar playthrough. And then Twin Snakes can be, need to attack Meryl when she's near the wolf and hide in the box. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll be able to run through the dogs. No problem. We've got plenty of rations. Uh, just do the rest of our clearing here. Yeah, no problem with the... I don't have the gas mask on. It's fine. Snake's got good lungs. Yeah, what level is that? That's six. Something in there. I don't know what that box is, but it might be something good. That's three, and that's full of stuff. Let's go. Noise, noise, noise. Do need more C4 after I, I tried to use it in the dog caves. And there's some Nikitas to recover the ones I used on the way in. There we go, let's get out of here. And thank you for the coolant as well, gal. One sec. But yeah, those kinds of crazy little complex details. That, for me, is the emblematic trademark of Metal Gear. Probably nothing over on, uh, over in Archon's lab. 
yeah i know i know stuff here and there about things like that in these games like there's a bunch of stuff in two loads of stuff in three so wherever there is something like that i will try to take advantage of it uh right, fucked up the menu again doing all this loot running while Meryl's bleeding out on the ground. You know how it is. Time for stealth again. Yeah, there's this guy immediately here. We're going to go around to the left again, the way we came up here initially. Yeah, you can see they've got specifically considered camera angles for basically any surface that you can go up against. Like, these aren't dynamic or anything. Monster Hunter. Not yet. Not yet. When we get to Peace Walker, we will do the Monster Hunter content. I'm gonna go to the other side here, just in case. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. No, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. We're gonna do... We're gonna try to do, like, everything in Peace Walker. Including all the goofy shit. Which I'm excited about. Make a run for it. Didn't want to deal with that again. Uh, stuff in the back corner there. Oh, you're coming this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the noisy floor. Can we go under these? No, I don't think we can. Uh, yeah, he walks past us. I think we're good for distance for noise as well. There we go. Some chaffs. Uh, if you hadn't got the SOCOM, Snake would have instead grabbed Meryl's spam-ass barrel in the jail section. Ah! Okay, that's a cool detail. Yeah, the one that I remembered is that, like, something to do with one of the goggle-type items or something. Oh, wait, we probably have to... Yeah, we can go via the box, can't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch for that camera. I think we should be able to use the boxes to get back to the start. Do the classic fast travel tech. Just want to make sure he wasn't going to turn around. And so we have the two boxes, right? One is for the nuclear... Yeah, two nuclear warhead storage building, which is where we are now. And one is to heliport. I assume you can do it here. Maybe you just have to wait. I don't know. But the idea is you can choose which box to wear so you can get shipped around the facility. There we go. Yes. The system they have for this in this Phantom is Pain is pretty cool, actually. And it's totally missable. The game doesn't even tell you about it. But in Phantom Pain, it's, you have to go to all the major places. And they have a little drop-off and pick-up spot for cargo. And you take, like, a little note from there. And then you can, you, the idea is you stick that to the cardboard box to choose where you want to go. And that just gives you fast travel to all those key points, which is really nice. And now we're here again at the helipad. Uh, yeah, should make things easier. Getting to the basement shouldn't be any issue. Oh, just have to be a bit careful. Oh, my God. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. But see, you can even get this angle inside the truck. They know very well what they're doing with camera angles. Watch him there. There we go. Nope, nope, don't do that. Uh, could have shot Meryl after she got sniped. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, look, you can, you can tell when you take an angle like this. All of these wall hug angles are... Oh, what the fuck? Are intensely intentional. Oh, no. Unless I got away with it. I got away with it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not getting away with it for long. Fuck. Go, run, run, run. Just get inside. I just struggle with the helipad, apparently. I'm just bad at that. Every time I've gone through that vent, there's been a guy standing right outside it. God damn it, man. Uh. Anyone doesn't get why Metal Gear rode such a great wave not taking Metal Gear 1 and 2 into account? Yeah. 
Pamela and Naomi would have gotten angry at Snake. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff like that. Again, not too worried about doing all of them right now. This is just a casual playthrough, basically. Right, we can look down, can't we? What button? Ah, there we go. Yeah. Right, yeah. You hold triangle and then do directions. Then you can look around in here. Look through vents. Yeah, stuff like Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3. They have a bunch of stuff like this. I, I'm probably more familiar with the goofy shit in those games. Uh, so I'll be able to get more of that first try. But there's stuff we won't do, obviously. Like, we're not gonna we're not gonna time cheese the end because I want to do the actual fight because it'll be my first playthrough. Yeah, Twin Snakes will be where the fun begins. Exactly. There, you know, I'm I'm kind of I'm letting myself be immersed, trying not to do things Snake wouldn't do. Oh, ration. Okay, so yeah, we definitely got that before. So some items have respawned, but I assume it's probably just story progression that has respawned items. We go, we can make up for me getting caught like a fucking idiot. Lovely. Yeah, we have a good opportunity with Twin Snakes. Since we'll have the opportunity to play the same game twice. I mean, I guess I could do that with Delta as well when that comes out. Who knows? Still not decided if I'll buy and play that. Now for the camera. Yeah, this is a noisy floor. Does Miller have something to say about that now? What difficulty? Normal. Snake, that floor there is you designed go. so that your footsteps echo. Mm. Listen, Snake. There's a way to walk so your footsteps won't be heard. Oh. I call it stalking. Can we do Here's this? How you do it. First, put your weight on the opposite foot that you're going to step with. Then, take a step so that your heel makes contact with the ground. Mel has always got interesting then, real world advice. Slowly lower the tip of your foot to the floor, gradually shift your weight onto that foot. Use your mm. knees to maintain the subtle balance. Try it. I I can't do it. Oh. Another way is to wear your socks over your shoes. Yeah. If you crawl on your stomach, we still have to worry about noisy floors because Snake's too clumsy to actually do that back. That's funny. What also? Oh, God. Someone's coming. Oh, my God. It was nothing. It was nothing. I'm amazed we got away with that. It would also be very funny if, like, you got a call like that and it just made you able to walk over noisy floors without making noise. That would also be pretty good. Ooh, that was close. So you can have close shaves like that. I guess it was because he got alerted by the noise before he could actually see me from the noisy floor. And just a cardboard box where a cardboard box would be. Wait for him to clear out. And away you go. Is he gonna keep patrolling around there? I don't. Uh, wait, what level door is this? I guess it doesn't say on the inside. I don't think we've been in here. Why is there a dot? You see the rate? See how there's a dot on the radar? Oh god. Yeah. What? What's the deal with that? Is there something under the desk here? Hmm. It's like in this direction. What's in here? What's being detected? You see that? And there's a what looks like a ration. I don't even need that right now. I don't think we've been in here. Look at that. It's like right on the corner of this desk. It's spooky. It's like I'm not alone in this room. It's not like interact with the computers or anything. Huh. Yeah, weird. I, I have no idea what that dot is. That is not not trivia that I know. Okay, let's wait for our buddy here. Wait, does he not actually... I, I assume he patrols up that way, up to the left. Do not auto-fire in the torture sequence. Yeah, I know. Ocelot will know. Black Chris play Ghost Babel? Yes, I'm playing everything. Uh, no holds barred on this, on this marathon. I am playing everything. Including Ghost Babel. I'm looking forward to Ghost Babel. 
with how much I enjoyed Metal Gear 1 and 2. It's really nice to play um, something else that's like it. Yeah, we're doing Ghost Babel. We're doing Acid. Including the Pachinko? What? No, we're not. No, we're not doing Packing Slot. Okay, I guess one hold Bard. In the sense that we're not playing the Patchy Slot. How the fuck are we going to deal with this guy? Like, well guarded here. How far down does he go? I don't think we could get down behind him with how noisy the floors are. Unless... There could be a good spot to hide with the box here. He does stay there for a minute. But Ghost Babel was pretty good. I've not really heard anything about it. I just know it's another top-down game, which now I'm actually very down for. But yeah, everything except the Pachinko game we're doing. Yeah, we're doing the acids. We're doing we're doing portable ops. I could shoot him in the head. Uh, it's not the way though. We're doing survive. Basically everything. Everything that is even slightly worth playing. No! Okay, right. I, I thought that was more there was more space here for us to hide. Okay, I'm done. Goodbye. Sucks sucks to have to murder him, but What's that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck! Oh! Get my ass beat here. Ah! Just gotta fight my way out. Fuck! Still a bad shot. Okay. No one- Oh yeah, they- They- They know we're here. I'm just at a dead end and I can't shoot for shit! Okay. Yeah, it's just the opening area. The hangar- Not the hangar. The- The helipad and the first area are just really fucking hard. Compared to the like everything else. God damn it. Can you consider it one of the best games on the platform? Oh really? Huh. Okay, I will have to check it out then. There's gotta be some way of getting past this guy. He's got a really brutal patrol here. Like, I can't figure out how we'd get past it. Maybe I just have to crawl out. If I come out of that room, maybe we can box past him. During the evasion, as you saw there, that guy was happy to just investigate boxes. But I think if I was spotted like this, not during an alert. Oh, shit. Well, okay, just kill me. Go ahead and kill me. I thought, I don't know. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I thought maybe we'd be quiet if we walked with the box. But no, Snake's still, still too clumsy. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Dad, speak from survive screenshots. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff there. Like, I'm genuinely curious about survive. Very hyped for the streams of social ops. Okay, not all those things. N definitely not any of those things. What's S O? I've heard of social ops and touch and engage. Like some game, there's some games where I don't that just aren't accessible. Um, we are gonna play Metal Gear Online 2 though. And maybe we'll look at Metal Gear Online 3. I don't know if there's anything going for original MGO. Maybe I'll have to look into that. But I know there's a revival project for original MGO, and that's really cool, and I really want to play that. We will do some of that on stream. And yeah, I know I know about the options for the, 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 the prison bit. We'll see what we end up doing. Head back in here again. And we can we can plan. Still play MGO2? Not via official service, because Konami shut it down. But there's a revival project called Save MGO. Uh, where they, they host their own servers for MGO2. And everything is playable. And I think they've even been able to inject their own content via their own service too. Like their own cosmetics and stuff. Uh, and they, they run their own events and uh, special stuff like they would do when MGO2 was active. But the really cool thing about it, I mean, one of the really cool things about it, because there's many, is that you can play it, you can play it via an emulator if you're playing uh, MGS4 that way. And you can play it, you can play it on actual hardware, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you it played on real hardware. And there's crossplay between people playing on emulator and people playing on hardware because it's all on the same servers. So it all works. It's fucking incredible what they've managed to do 
with Save MGO. I recommend checking it out. There's some good videos. There was a video I found, which is how I found out about it. Uh, just describing... Oh, I know what we can do. I've got an idea. But yeah, like describing the entire project and how it works and stuff. It's worth checking out. Okay, I'm going to use the most powerful weapon in my arsenal now. That being noise. Check this out. It is really cool. Cool one is cooler in Twin Snakes. I guess we'll have the chance to do both. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't want to do that! Controls! Okay, I'm gonna die. The controls failed me on that one. I was I was not holding the D-pad long enough to be going through that door. That was some nonsense. Yeah, let me see if I can find that video. Real quick. Save MGO. Ah, I I I deserve that, but the game also deserves it. Uh I think it was this. I mean, it's the first thing that comes up when you search for it. Uh by SGR Sean. Like that. I think that's like the second video they did on the on it, I think. But that's the one I Metal watched. No, series. don't don't autoplay videos. Don't do that. Fuck's sake, man. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. But um Yeah, I recommend watching that video and going and like I, I think other people have uploaded footage of their gameplay. Like modern MGO2 gameplay. It's very cool. Yeah, if this wasn't Noisy Floor, I could, like, get up behind him while he's walking away and choke him out. Maybe we can just shoot him without raising an alarm. I don't know. This is hard. This is, like, the hardest thing we've had to do in this game. The gameplay of Ghost Fable, a little aside from, like, a 20-year-old gaming magazine gushing over a guy called Black Arts Viper. That's a cool name. It's definitely more of, like, a Metal Gear 1 and 2 kind of name for a character. But it is cool. There we go. I'd murdered the man. Not not the way I like to go about my uh, my tactical espionage action. Oh god, don't stand in the camera. But it seemed to be the only way. There's probably some massive brain shit you could have done to him there. Probably involving knocking. But we're fine. Yeah, really weird, that dot. I wonder what the deal with that is. Camera. Yeah, the rest of this should be relatively smooth sailing. Like, the place is not that difficult to deal with. I don't remember if we've been in here. I guess we have. I think this is where we got the night vision, actually. Nope. rest of this should be chill. Wait, wasn't there... A, yeah, there was a second tank down there before, wasn't there? It was an odd angle. Is that the tank that we fought with Raven? That's a cool detail, if so. But again, that's the kind of thing you should come to expect with Mel Gear. Cool-ass details like that. We've been in here? Maybe, maybe not, but I don't need more chaps right now, so... Hell yeah, brother. I could have used a stun grenade on him. That would have been a, I guess, a cleaner way of approaching him. Then I could have choked him out more legit, like. Look, there's even a camera angle right here. It's like every stickable surface has its own set camera angle. It's like we've gone a step beyond uh, the whole idea of fixed camera angles, but some of that DNA still remains in a way that's positive. Oh, I know what that dot is. Because look above me now. There's a dot there. Yeah, it just meant there was something on another floor. I see. Right, right. This is the guy I practiced neck snapping on before. I remember. Right, right. The Soliton radar can pick up things on other floors. And it will just show them as dots. Yeah, the, the crawling movement is really nice for letting you reverse instead of having to flip around to go forward again. Okay, the elevator's over on the left side, as I recall. Oh, God. 
Woo, lucky there was a box in the way there. Oh my god. Careless. Careless behavior. Oh, thank god the elevator was just there. Uh, right. So, I think, yeah. Basement 1, where we found Meryl. That only has, like, one level 6 door, I think. I guess we'll stop in on there on the way back. Hello. There's a guy immediately. There might be more... Oh, shit. There might be more guys than... No, I didn't want to... No, I was trying to back out with Circle. Oh. God damn it, man. Okay. Okay, I guess we're checking here right now. Yeah, that. Yeah, that level 6 door. I don't think there was anything else. Yeah, the butt-naked dude is now gone. And good for him, I suppose. This is just the bathroom, which has ammo, which I need. Yeah, I had the gross bugs in it. And then I don't think there was anything down here. Right, that's the way into there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, let's head back up. Get me a snorkel rifle. Yeah, now I think about it, honestly. Like, going going from where the truck is... Just walking there. Walking from there to here is probably easier than going via the helipad again. Now that I think about it. Since that area is kind of hard to get through. Probably... Well, we showed off the fast travel. We probably won't go back that same way. A lot of guys around here. Careful of the traps. Good God. Eaters, I need those. Uh, does Grey Fox on a comic cover ring any bells? Uh, I don't think it does. I mean, if, if it's some specific Grey Fox uh, Yoji Shinkawa art, then I've probably seen it before. Just from casually looking at, at a lot of that. There we go. And at least look at the labels on the door. I think that, I want to say the PSG was in like the top left room or something like that. Okay, we don't need Famas ammo. We won't, we won't bother with the lasers. We're good on ammo. I'm well supplied. Yeah, I guess if you didn't do all the backtracking and room checking that I did, you, you just resupply here. Okay. That's the grenade room, which I think we're also full on. Yeah. Hopefully this will be a surprise. Let me have a look. Uh, oh, no, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, that's very nice. That's good art. Thank you. And thank you for the stretch as well, Gil. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a lot of elbow cracks. Oh, there we go. Whew. Yeah, that's really nice art. Like, it's basically impossible to not make Gray Fox, like MGS1 Gray Fox, look really cool. Yeah, now, now I know we can do this peeking. We can... Yeah, you can't really do it while you're up against something. It's a bit finicky, but you can do it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Nearly fucked myself with it there. So I think that is the room right up there. That we need to go into. He's just patrolling there. They know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, this is it, I think. We haven't been in here. Certainly. Right, we can put the thermals on. One, so we can see the lasers. And two, so I don't accidentally open up that door. Alright, in we go. More complex laser pattern here. But it's manageable. There's the PSG one. And some ammo for it. Oh, okay. I'll take this call. I was going to call Nastasha about it. You got a PSG-1. You mm. can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Okay. I will do. Thank you. Uh, let me just equip it first. There we go. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a scope with it, too. That's just if you have it equipped. Okay. Like, no matter what, you remain in scope. We'll figure out the controls for that. I haven't had time to do more VR room training. Set with infrared sensors. Oh yeah, I know. Be able to see them if you had some smoke, uh, cigarette smoke or something. Yeah, we're past Sorry, that, Nastasha. These are smokeless cigarettes. 
What? You mean those cigarettes that are designed to cut down on second hand I mean, they smoke? do work for oh, seeing the well, beams, though. Don't worry. If you blow the smoke in the direction of uh, the okay. sensors, you should be able to see them. Okay, the cigarette, the cigarettes, cigarettes themselves but, uh, aren't emitting smoke, but obviously the smoke. Much. Cigarettes make you weak in mind and body. They okay. are bad for you. Uh, even though she's smoking in her portrait, she, she still says that. That's fun. Yeah, let's try and maneuver here. Yeah, they give you enough room for that at least. There we go. And we're clear. Lovely. Hey, okay. get ready for this guy. Who can do that? You might want to check the middle room. I don't remember what's there. Or if we've been there. Jesus fucking Christ. I guess you can sidle past those. There's enough space for it. Wait, the guy who's patrolling the PSG door moved. Oh, God. They know I got the PSG. Now they're just searching around. Bastards. Uh oh. Uh. We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. No reason to panic. Oh, is this just a C4 room? It is. I needed more of that, though, so that's good. Okay, let's chill. Well, thank you for the row, buddy Bones. One sec. Bring a boy. Oh, he got the Wiggly again. Been lurking since the start. Hello, anyway. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that guy on the top right might turn. So I just kept running ahead. Yeah, these are refilled. Right. We got more C4 there. Check this other one, then we'll head out. Nope, nope, and nope. Yeah, we're full up on grenades. We're doing very well on supplies. Uh oh. Gotta wait for him to pass. Radar's coming in clutch. It is so useful. Like, this this game wouldn't work without the Solitan radar, I feel like. I mean, people play it that way. Like, for a first playthrough, it certainly wouldn't work. There's a bit of wall clipping there. Can see through the world a little bit when I do that. That's fun. Uh, yeah, people make it work, but you know, think if you were like someone of this time when this game came out, and 3D games are a whole new thing that you have to come to grips with. That that would definitely be a bit of a struggle. Getting used to this without the assistance of the Soliton radar, you could definitely do it with practice though, and experience. But I do not currently have those things. I am gaining those things as we speak. Where's the guy on this floor? Well, I guess we don't care. We just go out this way. Right, yeah, because the door here... Yeah, the door that opened here. I guess the tank was probably gone by the time that door had opened as well. Because the tank would have had to have come out this way. Assuming it was that tank, which I'm sure it was. One of the earliest, if not the earliest 3D console game to use real cinematography. Yeah, exactly. That's part of... Oh, I should use the thermals just in case here. It's like... It it almost seems... Uh, yeah, there you go. It almost seems normal now. Like, the the way cinematography is handled in this game. Are there more mines here than there were before? But this this is the game that set the standard for cinematography in games. Like, I think of games that defined... How video game stories are structured. Oh, something out here too. Okay, so this way is a bit more dangerous now. That's why you might want to do the fast travel. I have seen the, the Lego stuff. I think I mentioned it last time. Where Kojima's literally built a Lego stage. And I think it was the where we just were. To get the PSG1, Basement 2. And he's he's got a little camera that he's moving around there. To demonstrate the camera angles. Yeah, it's really cool. Just the kind of thing they had to do to figure it out back then. Okay, this is very doable. But yeah, they've upped security here for sure. Entire game was designed that way. You can really feel it. Like I knew about that. But now knowing... Knowing that basically every hard surface you can... Like put your back up against and get a unique camera angle. Like you just know they were going in there. And building their little Lego... Lego sets and figuring out what camera angle works best for that. Probably going to want to chaff our way into here. 
Not like there's any mines between us and there. Probably good to slip by. Risky though. And again, I'm I'm overflowing with items. Yeah, let's just do it. Stand up. Send it. And let's go. Uh car on. There we go. And I'm gone. There we go. It's like Rex's line about it in Clone Wars. My book experience outranks everything. I gotta I gotta like watch Clone Wars at some point. Like I said, I've been playing the Lego Star Wars is, and I spent a an entire day um playing Lego Star Wars 3, which is the Clone Wars game, which has Rex in it. There's one really good level, which I think I I think I'd I'm, I think it's based on an episode of Clone Wars or something. Because I feel like I'd heard the name before. And it was extremely based because it was a clone-only mission. But it was called The uh, Rookies. That was a really fucking good level. That game's very mixed in quality. When the levels are good, goddamn are they fucking good. That was a good level. Wait to see what this guy does. I don't to keep up with it back in the day. That was an early episode. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I ever watched it. I know I watched the movie back when that came out. I don't remember if I even liked it, <laughs> but maybe I would now. I don't know. I always say that I don't like Star Wars, and I, I believe that that's true. It's like, I don't like Star Wars primary media. I like Star Wars second, secondary media. I keep forgetting this guy's scary. Like... Star Wars movies, hate them pretty much 100% exclusively. But, you know, games and other side stuff that isn't the main movies, pretty fucking Kino, actually. I think that's where I'm at with my with my feelings on Star Wars. There we go. Down we go. Jesus. Movie was cool, decent. Series of improvement, generally. Yeah, that's what I figured. Like, I feel like a, a TV show is a better format for that kind of thing. If you want to... Oh, wrong floor. If you want to move the focus away from the, you know, universe-saving main characters a little bit and spend more time with the clones and other characters that wouldn't get as much spotlight in, uh, in a movie. Why having a TV show can be better. A better format for certain stories, you know? Gives you more time to flesh things out. Like, you have so much more time. I mean, a TV show can, in theory, go on indefinitely. You technically have infinite time. But, like, one season of a TV show, no matter how many episodes it is, unless it's really very few episodes, it is going to have a longer runtime than a movie. So that's refilled, too. You can do a lot more and spend more time with characters that way. Rookies is indeed an adaptation of an awesome episode. I figured, I figured, because it seemed really specifically, like, based on something. But yeah, it's like, um, Rex and it might have been Commander Cody, who is from the movies. I only, I, like, there's so many fucking Star Wars side characters whose names I only know because of Lego Star Wars, Commander Cody being one of them. Uh... Yeah, it's like they go to, like, a an out-of-the-way outpost that's just manned entirely by rookies. And then, at least in the mission, you go around, there's a big worm that you fight. It's a kind of awkward boss fight. Then, there's a whole bit where you have to get a bunch of explosives to blow the fucking place. And there's a there's a bit, like I said before, they, they really go hard on pushing the that generation of consoles with how much stuff you can have on screen. There's a bit where, like, this uh, droid ship lands, and there's just an endless wave of, of B1, B1 droids pouring out towards you. And at that bit, you have the you only have the guy with the minigun. And you can just mow him down, and you can just keep doing it. It's great. Definitely be worth pirating that episode through cl uh, clips of uh, best parts on YouTube. Yeah, maybe I'll get into it at some point. I'm very Transformers heavy right now. Oh. Oh shit, maybe could have gotten away with that. This is not it. This is not it. I'm gonna get mauled. Where the fuck is it? Can't see shit. Uh 
Why don't I have the NVG one? It's there. It is there. There we go. Go, go, go. Jesus. Jesus. But yeah, because I'm kind of solidifying my feelings on Star Wars stuff, that I'm willing to engage in secondary media and enjoy that. Maybe I'll watch some stuff like that. I heard Mandalorian went to shit. I never watched any of it. But apparently the first season was good. Maybe I need to look into what stuff is good to... Oh, God. Look into. Okay, we're here. Uh, the Meryl's not there. Right. Time to figure out how to use a sniper rifle. I guess we can only lie down while using it. Can we not actually move while we're like this? Yeah, this is one I definitely should have done the VR training for. Mando was good. Haven't watched past season two. Yeah, I've heard they tie it into a bunch of other... Star Wars stuff, where it was a very standalone thing, originally. Which, I, I guess, definitely does not work for some people. I can get into that. You know, I've been willing to get into so much Transformers stuff. Ow. Okay, that has thrown my aim off colossally. This is really hard to aim. Why the fuck am I looking now? Okay. This is not the way, clearly. Clearly I'm doing something wrong. At least there's PSG ammo there. No other way than this. Guess I just gotta aim quick. See where the dot is. There she is. Fuck. What? Oh, yeah. Square to shoot. Fuck. Okay, bad start. Should put my rations on. Yeah, okay. These controls are a bit awkward. The game generally very good with its controls. This is weird. But again, probably should have practiced it. I see you. I see you. Got her ass. Kind of spammed the my shots there. Okay, and reloading. Reset your aim. There we go. Now we can now we can track it. Okay, I think when she resets my aim like that with an aim punch, I gotta just reset. Andor was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I, I basically know nothing about Andor. Just that it's supposed to be really good. Maybe I should check that out. It really is the year of me reassessing my biases, isn't it? Between me considering getting into Star Wars secondary media some more and getting into RPGs. There you are. I pressed the wrong button again. Fuck's sake. Okay, we know if her laser is showing, we know she's aiming. So maybe it's good to wait for her to not be doing that. That could be the way. Kind of like with Ocelot, you wait between shots. She doesn't seem to want to stay in one place for too long. She just took one shot there and then is presumably repositioning. Yeah, there she is again. Let her take a shot. Then aim. Might be the way. There we go. The auto aim. It, it, there's a bit of auto aim there. I should I should be using diazepam is what I should be doing. Why haven't I thought about that until now? Here we go. Temporarily stops involuntary trembling. And we don't have any rations left? Yeah. Okie dokie then. Yeah, that makes it a lot smoother. Holy hell. Saw her. No, I saw her there. I saw her there. Gonna let her get back to it. Yeah, take a shot. Yeah, if you aim at her while she's aiming at you, you can immediately see where she is. Because the, the red the red dot. That's it. Nice! Headshot. Okay, I figured it out. That was definitely another case where I was stupid about the fight and was just rushing into it, but I eventually gathered my thoughts, got it together. Okay. There we go. Yeah, say say what I will about Star Wars in general as a franchise. I think the overall aesthetic of Star Wars definitely works for me. Like the weirdo largely kind of junky space fantasy but then occasional like fancier slicker tech sci-fi it works for me a lot of great designs like it's not just that the uh the lego games are good it's, that's not the only reason why i like lego star wars definitely and why i like star wars battlefront back in the day and even what little I played of Star Wars Battlefront 4, which is what I will call it. I will not refer to it as anything else, ever. Um, I didn't play Star Wars Battlefront 3. 
but what I played with of four was pretty cool. And I've not I've not seen any of the new movies except for Rogue One, which I fucking despised. Oh, there's rats up there. Look at the rats. Maybe you can shoot those. What if there's a Kodak call for it? Hold on. I want to maybe do that. They have you do that with flying rats. In two. Yeah, I think the dive pam's still working. Yeah, I can't aim up very far from here. I'd have to go all the way back. I want to try it, though. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, a lot of, you know, some stuff I'm like, whatever on. Like, all the all the various glupshittos and alien designs are just like, whatever. Don't really care about those. I saw it back there. Look, they're hiding. I need another diazepam if I'm going to shoot these rats. There we go. Yeah! It's a little bit sticky. Aiming with the D-pad. Yeah, there's there's generous correction on your shots. Like a lot a lot of the shots I did actually land on Wolf wouldn't have actually Oh, there we go. Snake, we don't <laughs> need a rat trap. We need yeah. someone to stop that goddamn new from getting I remember this one. Sorry, Campbell, sorry. Right, let's get out of here. Much more mixed bag after Disney took over. Yeah, yeah. And the whole like erasing the extended universe stuff. But I, I've said before, like what is and isn't canon doesn't really matter. As long as the media continues to exist, you will still be able to consume it. Whether it's canon or not, doesn't make a difference to uh, how you experience it. Ah, shit. Oh, is this the this is the the spiral staircase bit? Is this where we run the fuck away, or is this what? No, this is where we're getting caught. No. We'll do what we'll do in the spiral staircase later. Close. Oh, shit. That's your cute. Think the nukes here. should go off as punishment? Slowly. Yeah, you're right. Rats are cute, actually. Rats and mice are all really cute animals, for sure. You Wouldn't hurt one for real. Back here. Stupid man. Ah, the accent. The lady sniper, huh? <laughs> the lady you sniper, huh? The two thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women. How'd you survive that headshot from like, the end of the fight there? Or after your female friend. Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. Hmm. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill Yeah, what I I'm gonna keep playing Lego Star Wars oh. myself. But I've said before, I want to play what like uh, Force Unleashed 1 and 2 maybe on stream. Special that could be fun. Play. Got it. There's a lot of other Star Wars games I haven't played. Oh my god. Scary. Until I kill you. You're all I think about. Mmm. I'm not a fan of scary women. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'll take that over being harassed by Wolf. Yeah, scary women are scary. I like nice women. And I've got I've got no interest in watching the new Star Wars movies though. So I was like, oh, I've got no interest in this really. And then I watched Rogue One. So I was like, I'll give it a chance. Why not? And I fucking despised it. With it just being like, here's a bunch of characters. We're not going to tell you what their names are or anything about them or what their motivations are. It's just a bunch of things that happen. And that really pissed me off because I was distracted from a lot of the things that were happening in the movie. Trying trying to pay attention to like, have, have I ever been told any of these characters' names? I don't know what their deal is or what they want. It just pissed me off really badly. On realizing Wolf is not a wolf, Agrius gets afraid and wants to leave. Hey, I never expressed any interest in Sniper Wolf. Should I say this or not? No, this is base. This is a robot fucker statement, actually. Tell you who's hotter than... Sniper Wolf is Crying Wolf Me? from 4. Robot form. Everything That's sick. That's a really good design. I mean, all the all the, the beast forms of the B&Bs. That's what I'm into, okay? Sick-ass robots. <gasps> the brother of light. Liquid. Game enemy people got burned out by Disney's weirdness and getting to know uh, a Thrawn, a faction that was counter to the Force. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Like, burnout is a big part of it, for sure. And yes. ill will towards Disney. That definitely affects me. Still alive. That's for the great IPs out there. Yeah, exactly. The and, you know, again, the stuff that was good then in the we'll past will always remain them. good. We still have to get our hands on big bosses. Like the, the the Old Republic games as well. Which I played a bit of the first one of those. Never finished it or anything. Have they the given bosses in for DNA? Yet? Not hmm. yet. Yeah, torture time. They won't give in. I, I might be ready to mash. I haven't had any practice. Every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They oh. always put politics first. That's I didn't right. make any calls That's during the, they want the wolf fight. Any oh, well. About we'll have another one. New nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. Hmm. Got about the old report by the time you got your first job, but I heard the other day it's managed to keep going. Yeah, there's, um... Actually, I have a... Switch Star Wars it games collection, but some of them are download only or something. I don't know which ones are actually or on the card. I say Big Brother. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. And Prime Wolf removes her armor and mask, and Akira's Metal Gear suddenly becomes a lot less solid. Boss. Exactly. Like they're less. It's me. Less appealing when they're really? not in the in the armors. Then what? Oof, they're such cool designs, idiots. dude. All right, Raven. I'll be right there. Paul Naomi did really use the controller to massage your arm. Right, yeah. Not responding to our demands. Uh, we launched the first one in 10 such hours. Such a nice as detail. Planned. Consider Damn it for the it difficult is. mashing. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiate. Yeah, like getting a completely different time period from speeds. the movies so it's come is a really it, cool angle to take. We're going to launch like going into the distant, distant past. I've got to take care of some cool ass characters. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? Oh, it's stuck. I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. Taking a normal pills? She might be taking a crazy pills. How she at? So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Hmm. Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I mm. know. That was an accident. I uh. didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Important Boss, detail. About that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever okay, they kind of skipped over it. And they they briefly mentioned it. But yeah, it's implied that Ocelot killed the DARPA chief during torture. Dead. We've also got to but find we, out we met Baker the DARPA chief. After the fact, what's the deal with that? The deal being that we didn't meet the DARPA torture. chief, we met Decoy Octopus. But he, he ended up dying also. I don't know what went on there with the fox die. I don't remember how it works. The diaper chief? He, may, he, he might need one after that heart attack, you know. That happens after people die. It was Namogus. He was he was the, the Susamogus Decoy Octopus. Catch you later. Ugh. Get away. <laughs> I'm here Once for Rex. She picks a target, she doesn't think about but yeah, that was Decoy else. Octopus in the Sometimes cell initially. She falls in love with him before she kills I don't him. really know that much about what the deal is with him. Finally, Whatever. Just the two us. of us. How are you Decoy feeling? Octo Sus. Not there bad. you go. I Not knew there was a pun there somewhere. I was digging for it. I was running a background long. process trying to find Glad it. To hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about mm. to show you some of its nicer features. Where Why do you have to take my shirt off for this, Ocelot? They're all there. We know why. Washington it's a Russian quite taunt. A chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? <laughs> See? Yeah, that's fine. So, Metal Gear is armed with a I was, it was, it's like, is that, I was thinking, it's like, is that too weird a thing to say? But it's no, story. it's just on the border. You're riding Colonel. the line. By the way, mm. you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? Yeah. What if I did? I've got all my stuff that now. The only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? No. There's no copy? Do not. Uh. That's fine. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have said no immediately. Is Meryl okay? Octopus, he's a fun he's film. Not I've not seen it. Yet. I've not watched that many Bond Wolf films. Must have been feeling generous. I think I've seen bits and pieces stay that way? of, I think, Moonraker, some of the other now. older ones here and there, but it was so you long ago. It was not enough for me to have, like, Where a strong two? memory of it. What's the trick behind I've definitely key? seen, like, Casino Royale. Drink. Don't remember anything about that. I remember watching Skyfall. I like that, I think, a bit. Hell if I know. But I haven't seen that many. That's something i got to get around to. You're a bad enough dude to survive the interrogation? I don't know. 
and we'll find out I'm worried this could go are. any way I've not practiced the pain becomes too great to bear and I'm not going to use auto fire because they'll know what if you do the girl's life is mine it's very stupid but has some good action and jokes that's yeah, fine by me Press I'm fine with things that are stupid to I mean, I'm playing Metal Gear <laughs> look, look at what we're doing enough. here Press the select button to submit. I'm not submitting though. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Fourth wall in shambles. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. Yeah, that's why I keep saying that Snake, in that particular way. It's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah, it has. So what? I guess he your comments on that too. The torture, it'll be it's game fine, over. we have checkpoints. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Yeah, I know. I know about the stuff up. in the cell. I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. Mm. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're mm. no POW. Yeah, I know. Ocelot just hostage. does this for love of the game. No he is a sadist. Convention. No one is coming. He's a freak. We saw him in his boss fight with his gun. Scared. Good. Like, you if anyone be. in Metal Gear is a freak, it's okay. Ocelot. Let's get started. Okay, time to mash. Okay, here we go. I've never been good at kind of like, you know, the thumb rubbing mashing technique. I've never done that. Oh, God. I usually, yeah, I try to do like a finger tapping thing. Where I, like, like use that? my entire forearm. Shall which hurts, but it works. No Geneva Convention. War crimes are a go. Yeah, they're terrorists, you know. Focused. Focused on the mash. Yeah, I, like, move my entire forearm. Had enough yet? Instead of, like, moving my, my finger or thumb. Yet. Yeah, thumb and twitch vibrating. Yeah, switch vibrating. Is what I do. Not super practiced at it though. Oh god. Oh god. Gotta get that recovery okay. mash as well. Oh god. Want me to go on? You not restore life while he's monologuing? No. Can you take one more? You only get a short period. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, keep like slipping a little bit. I'm not practiced You're with it. Is that everything? Man. Please no well, more. That's enough for now, I think. First try. Let's go. Torture survived. Your brother. Ooh, my arm. He's I'm going to need that man. Naomi massage. Who else could shoot I'm going to I'm going to take her up on that. The Les Enfants Terribles project oh. was not a total failure. They finally said it. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Hmm. I'm distracted by the spinning iron bugs. Now get ready for phase two. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's fine. Surely. Surely it's fine. Just put me in the cell. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're gaming. We're gaming. Whew. Huh? Looks like I got a roommate. Hey, it's the real DARPA chief. The DARPA chief? Yeah. Yeah, we're covering it now. Yeah, look, he's covered in maggots. He's been dead way too long for it to be the one we met. What a stench. Six times on the hardest difficulty? Oh, that's fucked. Man. But hey, it's Johnny. That witch. She took my clothes. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, so that was Johnny, who was stripped bare naked at the start. Recurring character, extremely important character, who will decide the fate of the world one day. Our boy Johnny. Yeah, I want to I want to I want to get as much Johnny content as possible. There's a lot of good Johnny. Good Johnny material. Nothing here for now. What Let's make some calls. Don't worry about it, Johnny. Snake, Things with Johnny. Okay? Mm. 
I've been better. I've been ever got changed. Yep, that's the stench. They've got her. Damn. Got the shirtless, the uh, shirtless portrait. Not the snake. Give in to their demands. We're uh. trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. How many hours do Why we have left at this point? Dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are yeah, you talking clearly about? he's hiding Metal stuff. Was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. You knew it all along, didn't you? Oh. Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. I, you can tell he doesn't want to lie. But he just can't. He's not allowed to say it. Secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? Mm. As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Yeah, Need totally, to bro. Basis. Is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START Three Accord. Right, we I read about it. that. That's the reason for the deadline. Ah. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. Kind of fuck up chances for like proper nuclear disarmament with, with a nuclear terror attack. This has to do with the president's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So mm. patriotism is your excuse it always for is. circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake, just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the yeah. Only maybe one maybe I should join them. Maybe that's In sick. That case. Tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. Mm. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. Aww. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. Yeah. See? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. Publicly, the president mm. has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence right, of the yeah. genome army to go public. Maybe you shouldn't have made such a reason. massive fucking eugenics army then. Huh. Dumbass. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Mm. Oh man. But it's strange. He looks and smells hey, like he's been around the chopping block again. Might get the dissolved in your lifetime. Yeah. Too. Could be Drained. great. Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died yeah, a few hours ago, right? Right. Again, we'll just do it casually. It's fine. What could it all be about? Don't worry about Something it. Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nano machines in the transmitter. Did mm. the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? it and they've got the key card now. Type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's mm. a countermeasure that Arms Tech installed sure, secretly. Up on new names. Oh yeah, of course. Three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. I mean, are. I don't have one of them now. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm mm. sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also, mm. what? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah, we'll yeah. save Meryl. I'll save her. Thanks. Yeah, Snake is like, yeah, why why shouldn't I why shouldn't I let the terrorists do what they want to do? But when it comes to Meryl, he's like, Yeah, no, I'll take care of I'll take care of Meryl. Don't worry. He's not fucking around about that. The guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom mm. like the rest of us. I mean, Johnny Johnny chance. doesn't go to the bathroom like the rest of us, trust me. Chat with everyone. Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's mm. name, rank, serial yeah. number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're Yeah, I'm sure you don't, Billy. I'm sure you don't want me to tell them anything. Meryl's probably unconscious as fuck. Just because you are locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep mm. your eyes and ears open, and when you see a chance, take it. Yep, very good. An Otacon. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. Yeah, I think we, we do need to call a, a wonderful Otacon here. I need your help. Oh, I was he's in a very good position to help. 
What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Mm. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. So is the is the Thanks. is the giant electric torture machine? Is that new or did the terrorists bring that with them or you know did they just have that? Shut up in there, will you? <laughs> you shut up, Johnny. <laughs> Yeah, like, did they always have the torture machine? Maintain eye contact with Johnny at all times. Sketch him out. Yeah, Alcon will be on his way now. But I don't think we... Yeah, we have nothing as is. We need... We need stuff. He's just got everything wrong with him. Johnny Sasaki has every disease. Oh. Nate, it's showtime. I huh? Do I want you. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, actually? Oh no! Do we have to go again for real? Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh, the the, the Archon's okay. on his way. <laughs> we'll be I'll all right, right? Yeah. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. Oh boy. When you've had enough. It's fine. Press I've the recovered. Button to submit. When your life I didn't get that Naomi zero, call. I should have just kept calling. Was she had her own no frequency? Continues, my friend. Yeah, yeah. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, mm. Eritrea, and Chad. Afghanistan, Among man. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, mm. I was known and feared as Shalashaska. Yeah, that's right. I, I thought that was Russian like group. something they made up for five, but no, like that was here from the start. Slums. Him being called Shalashaska. They explain why he's called that in five. Sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't mm. confuse me with those uniform fools. I mean, you are a sadist, though. Well, shall we begin? All right. Am I at least starting at full health? God, I hope so. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are. All right. I'm ready. That was a good one. That was a good one. How did you Ooh. like that? Felt that in my shoulder. Shall we go God. again? You hadn't gotten under the bed. Gray Fox would have helped you out. Okay. as well this time. Hey, we got yet. back up to fall though. Whew. We're not Just gotta keep mashing yet. after it's done for a bit. But as soon as it cuts to a different camera angle, you can't do it anymore. Oh boy. Oh, struggling now. Still oh okay. boy. Oh my arm. Want me to go on? I can't do it for long. Can you can't take maintain one it. More? Probably, yeah. Uh, I don't want to though. Oh bad, bad. Oh, that was close. Oh, I, I, I really cannot maintain You're it for a long. Man. I had the really well, good first couple, now. and then it's just, I just lose it. We <sighs> live in a sad age. Mm. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. Twentieth oh. century Russia has had its share of Gonna problems. Gonna tell us his philosophy now after all that. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with mm. that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss like has health a gets removed in chunks. We were at a point there. Where if we had lost a chunk a little bit earlier, we would have gone to zero. That would have been it. The hind was just a down payment. Should be able to escape. So you're in this for money? I don't mm. need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. That is almost certainly not true. <laughs> Even I, having a fair amount of knowledge on this series, I don't know what the fuck he wants. No fucking clue. It's off a lot, man. It's the way you're supposed to be. Cannot be trusted. All right, come on, Archon. I need your help on this one. 
should be coming around soon, I hope. Oh, there's a call. I was going to call, see if I could get the Naomi call anyway. Yeah, nothing new to report. Snake, mm -hmm. is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers oh. in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Uh, the Snake, put yes. the controller on okay, yeah, yeah. your arm. I need this. What? Don't worry, it'll feel good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, here I go. Yeah, they just give you this call. Ah, it's nice actually. That's all? How does that feel, Snake? I wanted to like better? do it up and down my arm because I'm using the whole arm. I stimulated your muscle uh. fibers with the nano machine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. On that. Is that is that did I say something in trail off? Say something to take my mind off the pain. I don't know. Just saying it back say? to me isn't enough to prompt me to remember what I said. I, I'm so bad about that. I'm not a very good talker. Please. What employee thought of this? Tell me about yourself. Myself. Yeah, who knows? That's like no doubt. Any so family? so much of some of the stuff in in these games has got to be it's Kojima, but topic for me. would be interesting to know have any family. where all the ideas no. come from, you know. Wait, among there the whole staff. Who said he was my father? Oh, where is he? Dead. Mm. By my own hand. Big boss. Oh, I don't know either. What else? What ones? Exactly. Big okay. Boss. Okay. I had no idea. There yeah. Was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. Yeah, whenever someone says something like that, I'm like, oh, fuck, did true? I trail off and not finish was what I was saying? Really oh, no. That's what he said. We don't know. That's all I know. And did he even say that? Kill him? I don't remember that. him saying that, but again, yep. like I'm saying, my memory. <laughs> Thanks for the coolant, Cal. One sec. He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's mm. petricide. Yep. That's huh? the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. I mean, he, he was... Is that Foxhound? He was mega nuclear Hitler, Let's just so... Say that I needed to be alone for a while. Has to be done. And Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Mmm. Yeah, what about your backstory? School. Big brother, eh? Even blood related, and he was much older than me. Hmm. Where is he? He's hmm. dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Roy Snake, Campbell. you did ditch that girl at the end of Metal You're Gear 2. That's friend. on you, bud. Oh. Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Oh. Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Fox yeah, he's got his, he's got his dogs. What else do you need? Gray Fox. Mm. Why did that affect you so much, him. eh? But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. Mm. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Yeah. Hard to believe. <clears throat> it was, it was a complex no and emotional issue. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. Yeah. He didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. Yeah, he was the yeah, rookie well. back then. In no, Metal Gear 1. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw Love him on the to battlefield, see we stuff like this, kind of rehashing we fighting barehanded in a minefield. and expanding on the events of Melgi 1 and 2 and the characters and we their relationships. Doing you know, jobs. they couldn't couldn't have like a cutscene like this in Metal Gear 1, games. whether they wanted to do it back then or not. Animals. You're right. We are animals. Like, as their, their bonds so come loose, friends, the limitations slip away. I they expand know. on those old ideas. <sighs> It's your genes. And I joke aside. You make you predisposed towards violence. On the shift. You really like 16 hour genes, shifts? Naomi. Jesus. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? Now that's awful. <laughs> I never knew who my parents were. I hope you're free, you're free from like. it soon. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you yeah, I've just been, been uh, I've just been here getting tortured. You know how I it is. If I studied my genetic structure, I'd find Survived out it, who though. I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Mm. Memory is stored. Trying to do DNA. an Assassin's Creed, well, yeah. Sure. 
but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined you got paid lower than minimum wage that's that's in their dna 16 so hour shifts fate? for you less than DNA minimum wage that's option. fucked your fate I, Man. i'm sorry i have no idea of course not you're a scientist not a fortune teller mm. i assume it's legal but it's fucked 18 bucks per 16 hour <laughs> per, per 16 hour is it's is it no it's it's got to be per hour right for 16 hours not not 18 bucks for 16 hours work right uh oh johnny's got the shits see you around johnny no so so you are you, you're saying that it is 18 bucks for 16 hours of work not in thailand Fucking hell god that is that is atrocious <laughs> feel for you oh hey look who's here amazon's better than that yeah that hey, is dire here. Where? hey hal yay been a minute bud southeast asia it's moment me. yeah it's terrible wow they even capture you feel like you got scammed to work there i mean yeah you're not Let getting like what that you're works. owed really like what your labor is worth a a let me go whether it's legal Jeez, or not, it's fucked. It's like an animal's cage. Mm. Oh, what a smell. That's not me, that's the other guy. Yeah, it's the Derpa Chief. Once you get a new job at 7 Eleven, yeah, that'll be good, hopefully. We'll be, be better. To him. Can't be much oh, worse, can it? Can it? This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. Mm. So, what are you doing here then? I. I thought uh -huh. you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Hmm. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Right. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Ah. Uh. I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like. Yeah. Why is she nice to you? Me. I was taking care of the dogs. A tuna can and some ketchup. No After can opener. Took over, they were Have fun. To shoot all the dogs. No. That sniper wolf stopped them. Oh, that's she good. even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please. Yeah. Help her. In most what cases, I agree with that logic. I have already shot her in the head, though. Well, that's Past all I can do. Get, like, They're planning to launch a nuke. Uh, I've got twelve thousand baht per month. Then you have to get I keep doing this. Yeah. Tower. First, you have to get me it's a lot of work to get for that on, point. I'm my best. Like a lot of work, that not being paid enough. You'll have to take him out. So five you hours a week in your country, I'm yeah. Soldier. I can't take anybody out. Oh, that's to. a flush. I'll be killed. It's Johnny, though. It might be a multi-flusher. Oh, no. There's no time. We got lucky. Oh, he got lucky. He only flushed once. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. I have to speak multi-language, too. Wait. Fucking hell. Like... I, there should there should be like some requirement for an employer if you're if so, if a job requires you to speak more than one language you should get paid more for that like by default that's crazy right okay we've got a few things we've got a ration we've got our card and it's a level six card we're gonna we do it we have to how do we use the ketchup uh, I don't know how we use the ketchup. I now realize. Hmm. Tuna has a built-in opener. Oh, yeah, it's one of those kinds of cans. Oh, there we go. Don't worry about me. I'm just dead. What the hell? Yeah. Too bad for you, Johnny. You're getting tricked. There we go. Sorry, Johnny. I love you, but you need to get your ass kicked occasionally. And he's, he, uh, of course, it's Johnny, so he's in the pose. Now it looks like he died. We lightly lay low now. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get there. Look forward to Metal Gear Solid 2. There's a ration for me, and get the key card. Here we are, and I can get my stuff. There's a, a gun camera there, but yeah, there's... Yeah, the console's in the way. We're good. Let's go. Could have done a funny one. Wait, again, don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't stress. We have another playthrough ahead of us. I keep saying it. It's fine. 
Okay, now we've got our stuff. But there's this. Timer bomb. Yeah, it, not a transmitter this time. It's a bomb placed in my inventory. Arrows, two coffee cans, and two Red Bull bottles. Oh, God. Don't go too hard with it. Yeah, just toss that thing. There we go. Just wondering if it was going to blow on its own. Dealt with. That was a close one, Snake. Yep. Awesome I played Metal Gear 1, so I know. You'll pay for that. Hmm. I don't think we fight him again until until uh, two, right? Ah, probably smells quite bad in there. I uh, guess we want to chaff our way through here. Hardler with a full bottle of him and gummies down the mouth. Oh no! I've never tried Red Bull either. I'm not a I'm not a fan of uh, energy drinks and stuff like that or anything. I'm yeah, not even like you know cola. I'm not a huge fan of. I don't like I don't like drinks that assault me. Wait, 15 seconds, Miller would have warned you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was coffee and tea, caffeine pills in a pinch. I've never really had much of any caffeine ever. I've had like tea once and coffee once. That was it. I guess we'll take a look around here. The elevator's right there. I've never, I guess, developed any kind of dependence, which is nice. That's how I look at it anyway. I would snort down the nose. Oh, no. Oh, wait, we're down here. Yeah, it's this. Okay, that's what that level six door was. It's all on this floor. I see. Right, right, right. Uh, I guess we'll check in with everyone. Are we taking them for energy? Just taking to get to the at least once? Yeah, yeah. Where Metal Gear is, you'll have to climb the communications tower on the north side of the cave. Yes, we're going back to where we were. Which means we have to go up north again. Uh, drinking water or drinking anything is technically reloading your piss. I guess so. But I'm a robot. I don't piss. It's different for me. Yeah, I'm going to fall asleep at work and lose my job kind of emergencies. Yeah, thankfully, I've never been in that position. So I've not had the need to, I guess. I'm fortunate in that regard. Let's wait for it to cycle back around again. We could chat, but we could also not. Is the elevator here? Yes, it is. All right, let's just head straight back up. We're fairly well supplied, so we don't need to search everything again. Already did that today. Maybe that alcohol, just tasty drinks. They happen to have them. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the same there too. Like I've I've had alcohol like once or twice. Just like I have it, and I'm like, ah, eh, not for me. And then on I go, without an additional dependence. Nicotine also picks you up. So makes you feel like puking. Yeah, probably probably for the best there, yeah. All right, back to the thermies. Once again, unsafe. There we go. But speaking of, speaking of trying things, though, I rarely ever talk about food because I have nothing to talk about because I'm not a, not a big food guy. But I tried pizza again. I'd, I've had, like, pizza once before in my life. And it was like fine. I was like, eh. That was when I was a lot more uh, selective, let's say, about my my food experiences. Uh, how does Snake grab the claymore without using his hand? I mean, I assume he uses his hand. It's, or I don't know, maybe just going over it sucks it into his inventory. He has a base level of inventory magnetism. Right, we need to go around to the left here. Clenched his man titty. He probably could do it. Yeah, it's the big boss's genes. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, only ever had it, like, once. And I don't know what kind of pizza it was then, but I had it. Um, but then just, uh, yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day before. I had, uh, a little bit of a slice of, like, a veggie pizza. And it had, like, I think sweet corn and peppers and stuff on it. And not too much, uh tomato sauce and I quite enjoyed it so I I think I will be having more in the future I think I will become a pizza that's why they call him solid snake oh there's all manner of reasons why they call him solid snake that is merely one of them pizzas can vary greatly yeah yeah I guess I've got to try more different pizzas now um all oh, right we just crawl through here 
God. Keep thinking that door opens normally. Okay, just around. Head around this way. This floor. Bit of floor isn't noisy. And we're in the clear. Let's go. We're speedy boys. I know the layout of this place now. Nice. Good trash pizza to fine dining pizza. But I'm definitely not at that level where I can identify what kind of pizza is good and what kind of pizza I like. Like, I, I had that one pizza, and it was good. Or a, a, a little bit of a slice of that one pizza, basically. It was not much. But I enjoyed it. So I, I will, I guess, expose myself to more pizza from now on. That's where I'm at with food. It's like, maybe I, I'll like this thing if I try it. Been very weird about food historically. Oh, let's go in the women's bathroom and take some calls. Wait, can we not go in anymore? Oh, shit. Oh, well. That can wait for Twin Snakes, then. It's fine. Know who's on the shift that day can make the pizza go from good to great. Yeah, nice, nice. Try the floor thing. I did get that one. I got that call. He tells you how, like, tells you how you can um, do that particular technique, and then Snake's just like, I can't do it. Oh, I'm garbage. I can't move quietly, even though I'm supposed to be a stealth guy. Ooh. Ooh, we can... I think we're... Yeah, we didn't get all our stuff back, because we're not totally refilled. Unless it's because... Well, I guess we beat Wolf, even though we didn't kill it. So maybe we got a capacity increase again? Still a four out of four ration, but that doesn't happen with every increase. Let's go to the women's bathroom. It's a wild statement. I don't think a streamer would say... It's it's a normal thing to say if you're playing Metal Gear. Uh, well, you're gonna hear me say it again over the course of the of this marathon. In fact, there are gonna be more times where I want to go into the where I want to go into the women's bathroom and take some calls. It's just the way of things. Really wish I had gotten I had gotten that piss mechanic to work. Really wish I had gotten pissed on earlier. That would have helped me out. Speaking of things to say during Metal Gear. Deep throat. He hasn't called us in a while. Apparently, he would have helped us in the in the cell there if we'd done things differently. I'm gonna actually do some stealth with these dogs this time. You know, just gotta watch for the wet floor. Oh yeah, you're gonna see me. Okay, that was just bad luck there. Yeah, they got vision cones like any other enemy. Let's go. I know the way now. Oh. Psycho Mantis, second floor, Metal Gear, Otacon, Japanese anime. And yeah, we're full up on rations now. Let's go. Nate with his parrot speech. I've heard people say that that's actually, I, I don't know if that was intended in the writing, but that is actually an interrogation technique, like a real one. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the idea is you just kind of pick at keywords that the person says to get them to reveal more information. It might actually be a real thing. Kojima did it again. Probably, honestly, yeah. Or maybe Snake's just autistic. It's probably both. He's got the training to know that kind of thing. Yep. Remember when Meryl got shot a million times? I do. It's the Kojumbo. Yeah. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Yeah, I don't know where I heard that from, though. But war is ugly. The interrogation thing. Plus her ovaries again. It's more accurate. Oh, no. Snake, please save yourself. Yeah, we'll get to that. Go on living and don't give up on people. Mm. Don't forget me. Yeah, it was a long time ago when that happened. I mean, we had to do a lot since then. Good of them to remind us. Snake, about Meryl. Snake, I just saw Meryl, that flashback you I'm had. Sorry. It was really sad. Listen you okay? Me. I wasn't able to protect her. Mm. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. Yeah, sure she seems to kind of be regretting it, though, at the no, end. You're wrong. 
Meryl just opened the healing window up. Yeah, why didn't she use the cure screen? The only way. She, she uh, honestly, she yeah. Bring her like, when she first father. got shot, we should have just taken she a ration and thrown it at her. You can she do that in three, not combat. to heal people, but you can throw I out food and rations so hard. in three. It's all my fault. Oh. It's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Mm. Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just yeah, rare for Miller to interrupt. Anymore. Oh, Master. yeah. This is Miller Snake. saying Naomi might be a spy, right? want to. I think. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking Not yourself one for things of it, that yeah? happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. Mm. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It yeah, doesn't seem a legend like lending you. a hand. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mm. Mei Ling. Snake. Forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. Snake, you've seen the You're you've right. seen the marathon trailer. You see the fucking thing. four Meryl is in there. Snake. You know she'll be fine. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Mm. Yes, she's special. There are many women like oh, her. We've known each other a few hours. That's what I meant. Oh. She's the colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Yeah. Is that all? Come on. This yeah. is like a police interrogation. No, I just She's like the character he's flirted the with the least. Jeans. Huh? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no. I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think mm. Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. That's interesting. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the mafia. When was that? Mm -mm. Oh, uh, sometimes. Shouldn't have said days. that while Miller was Where? listening. A New York, I think. Naomi. I thought you didn't have any family. Mm. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. Like My grandfather stuttering. was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even I'm had a chance something to something I do him. normally, but when oh. Naomi does it, snake. it's a sign of weakness and deceit. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Hmm. How interesting. Got anything else to say about that, Miller? Plan your strategy based on no. the No. Okay. Thank you, Miller. Uh, actually, did we, 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 did we do the PSG one call with Nastasha? I remember going to do it, but I don't remember the call. Excellent. No, that right. No, she mentioned the lasers when we were in the room with the PSG. We didn't actually get this call. I remember now. It is accurate enough to shoot cleanly through a 2.5 centimeter square from a distance of 100 meters. Yeah, if you Unlike take guys and maybe rifles, the PSG one is not bolt action. It mm. is semi-automatic. Yeah, I was it's surprised with how fast you could fire it. You can like for rapid fire. When fire as fast as you can press the button over with long it. Distances, the slightest tremble can make you miss your it's getting target. Getting saucy, Naomi. Inches. Exactly. Yeah. Try to keep your hands as still. As oh, really, possible. it's all because because Campbell spilled. But she shouldn't have said it in the first place. Hey, Alcon, how you doing? I got out, by the way. If you go straight down the underground passageway north of the cave, you'll arrive at the communication towers. You should mm. be able to go over the glacier by using the communication towers walkway. Head for the towers. Got it. Okay. Go. Yeah, this is underground, I guess. Is it? I thought we had some exposure to the sky here, given that it's so tall. Can't really look all the way up, though. I guess we're just further down than I thought. I always got the impression that this area was outdoor. And you can hear the wind, which I guess adds to that. There's no snow down here, though. Although I guess maybe there is. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, God. My radar. How could I know? Jesus. Okay. Should have just kept running. Fuck me. Yeah, it looks, uh, yeah, it looks like there might be some snow. There's probably just some tall walls then. Not letting a lot of snow get in. Okay, we made it past where we got to. Whew. So yeah, they make you do the backtrack for the PSG one, and then you have then you have to go back from the first building again. I don't really mind. Yeah, I've got to be careful now. Whenever we don't have radar, I was being careless before. Oh shit! Okay, now we do the climb, right? Okay, uh, rope. Also, uh, let's equip the rations. Yeah, remember that bit from Metal Gear 2? Where we were forced to, uh, 
climb up a giant fucking spiral staircase while being chased by constant enemies? Guess what's back? Uh-oh. We're doing it again, baby. Fuck. Keep getting caught on the corners. Don't let them catch up to me. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Got plenty of rations anyway. No! Yeah, maybe using the... Maybe using... Oh, the... Is the stick fucking turned off again? Why does this keep happening? Hold on. Yeah, why is it on digital mode again? What? Damn it, man. So inconsistent. I wish I had the PS1 controller just analog button. Uh oh. Okay, let's move. Let's move. I gotta have a PS1. It's just playing this on my PS1 would mean I'm playing it at a weird frame rate. Uh oh. Cole? Hello. Snake, that's the door to the walkway. It oh yeah, it's frozen open, shut, isn't it? Even if I use the card. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Do you Ken Mel Gear 2? Snake, what are you on about? This is the first time it ever happened. Yeah, yeah. So cold outside. You know, Mel Gear 2. I'll make it a solid three. So what should I do? It's impossible to open from the inside. They always mm. use C4 or something from the outside. From the yeah, outside. We can't C4 it from, can't the from the inside, even. Inside? Sorry, That's why we got to rope down from the top floor, yeah. don't worry. You'll get through. There are two walkways that connect Tower A and Tower B. The other one's on the roof. You should yeah. just use the walkway on the roof. Yeah, I'm sure being exposed on the roof will be fine for me. Blessed famas. Oh, oh shit! Did I was I out of rations? Did I not have them equipped? Fuck! I thought I was fine. Snake. What happened? Snake. Snake. Yeah, I was just gonna say the famas is really nice. Uh with how rapid fire it is. Yeah, because I equipped the key card. That was why. Ah. Uh, oh well. We're fine. We'll just do it again. I think we need the card out here. More time with the fam ass. Exactly. Exactly. It's a nice gun. Should have probably had the fam ass out ready to go. Let's go. Uh, God. I wish the quick switch included some way to like quickly switch to the last thing you used. Instead of just unequipping whatever you have. It's handy, I guess, but it'd be nice to quickly change between two things. Maybe that'll come up later. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to become a feature. I mean, in five, they use the oh, use the D pad. Ah. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we've got the ammo to send them packing every now and then. Don't you jam the camera? Uh, maybe? If I die again, we can try that. There we go. Yeah, it's a good thought. Nice, free ration. Nice. Yeah, even if we don't immediately kill them if they're off screen like that, we can at least cause a stagger, which will buy us time to reposition. But yeah, we can do it this way for now for, oh, fuck, for the Metal Gear 2 nostalgia. Okay. Reload while we're at it. Yeah, the aiming's a bit finicky sometimes. But we get by. We have enough ammo to do so. God, this is tall. I wonder how many floors this is compared to the bit from Metal Gear 2. More or less. I feel like it was definitely easy to avoid combat in the one in Metal Gear 2. Feels very cinematic, like watching a camera pan in a movie. Like, if you actually had a scene like this, where it was a single shot, with the camera in the center. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm dead. All right, let's try the try the the jack then. Fucking hell. But yeah, if it was if you had 
like, imagine the camera rig. I mean, you could probably do it with a drone, I guess. You'd have to make sure it was very steady. But having the camera move all the way up a huge spiral staircase like that in a single shot would be really cool. Thank you for the stretch of the coolant, Kel. Ugh. There we go. Ugh. And coolant, one sec. Okay. So yeah, we want to chaff before we go in the door. Uh, nope, doesn't work. <laughs> All right. It was a good idea. It should have worked. But no, this is a forced combat section. Ration on and go. I don't know if it's better to run or shoot. I can't do the Left 4 Dead 1. I can't run and shoot on this, unfortunately. I end up taking a lot of damage on these straightaways. And then whenever someone's in front of us, it all just goes to hell. Getting fairly lucky so far. As long as I don't get stuck on any corners, we'll be better off. Oh, missing those shots hurt so much. I don't know if it's better to just get the stagger and pass by or actually try and kill him. Ow. Definitely don't run into him because they'll do that. Okay. Need to get more comfortable with the aim. There's a ration. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you want to get close, but not too close. Close enough so you're pretty much guaranteed the shot, but not so close that they'll just hit you with their gun. Hey. Okay. Yeah, just keep moving. Just keep moving. I've got a good idea of how long I need to hold the button down to get a kill. Oh, oh nearly, nearly, nearly out, though. That's a lot, a lot harder when you need to stop so regularly. Just smoothed right past that dude, though. Uh, okay, we've only got a few hits in us here. Getting stuck on a corner now would be devastating. Oh, but maybe I could swoosh again. Just go, just go. Woo, oh. Thought I was home free there. Serpentine, serpentine. This is why they call me Solid Snake. Fuck. Maybe if I just kept running, I... Maybe you just need to cut down on the number of guys. This segment, I don't, I don't like this. Like, I like doing stealth. In Metal Gear 2, you were more capable of avoiding bullets, I guess. You could just dodge a bullet in Metal Gear 2. Uh, here, not so. Here, it's just fuck you. I guess stuns could work. Think about our options here. Like we could, I could have thrown a stun out towards the end there. That could have gotten us home free. That would have been smart. Hmm. What about Claymores? How about I set up just a couple of claymores here? That could help me. What if I go in with the cardboard box? That wouldn't work, surely. But it's worth a try. No, no, that doesn't work. But the claymores? Yeah, get fucked! <laughs> oh, yeah. Tactical espionage action. Tell you what, I should keep doing that. This is what the claymores are for. Don't know how frequently I should place them, but this is a good strat. Ah. Yeah, I had that thought on my own. That is gaming. Look at this. We're getting away with it now. Now it's gonna there's gonna come a time where we're gonna need to shoot guys again. Yep, it's coming up now. But that is absolutely doing the trick of keeping them away. And then we can just focus on guys like that. Take no damage. And just be away. Be gone. Beginning to believe. Exactly. This is the point of this marathon. Is to gain these kinds of... Uh, gain the Metal Gear mindset. Become good. 
That's the, I mean, that's the goal of any of these marathons, really. Is to become good at the series that I'm marathoning. Yeah, I can top myself up with a ratchet because I'm full. Yep. So much screen shake there. I thought like the platform was going to get destroyed under me. And yeah, the, we could we could use the stuns as well. I might use that towards the end. Who knows when I'm going to need claymores again? I'm happy with draining those. And then the stuns can be in reserve because they have a lot more utility overall, I would say. But yeah, just keeping the keeping the pursuers off you the entire time is fantastic. Uh-oh. Okay, now would be a time for stuns, I reckon. No. They use a stun to get out of a sticky situation. Not the corners, not the corners. Uh oh, oh fuck! I'm fine. Yeah, that was a that was a risky play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna stun again. Shit! The corners. Place that one with clear. And then we can keep him behind us again. But you need a solid lead if you want to use those. Without sacrificing any life, anyway. That's our last claymore. Oh, boy! Just traded shots. Oh, God. Hey, okay, stuns. We have plenty of them. Our capacity is so high. Making me use my whole tool set, and I appreciate that. Yep. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Uh, this way. This way. This way. Go, go, go. Uh, up, up, up. Oh, ration. I'll take that. Okay, let's murder then. If it's going to be awkward. There we go. There we go. I probably could have just gone straight up the ladder, but I panicked. Ugh. Not bad. Not bad. I'm glad I managed to figure that out. Like that and the... What's it called? Is it Pentazamin? The fucking... Diazepam. There we go. Thinking of the wrong Metal Gear drug. Uh... Yeah, all did a, a lot of good work for me. We have three rations left coming up here, which is nice. Should have taken some calls during that. Keep realizing. But during this, we will. Yeah, we've left ourselves in a pretty good position there. Like, we're not going to need the claymores for fighting a fucking hind D, are we? So cinematic. It's great, isn't it? It's such a step up. From Metal Gear 1 and 2. Good as they were. Like, this is a world beyond. Let's take some calls. Now we can do the fun part. Mmm. Hello. I made it to the roof. Who? You must be exhausted, Snake. Feels like the edges are dark. No yeah. Deal. Snake, I'm monitoring <laughs> you closely. Out of breath. Your heart rate is elevated and your breathing is shallow. Kind of act like it's no big deal. <laughs> What's the matter, Snake? You out of shape from all that dog mushing? Then climb folks down on the middle and proceed north. Curious about the edges. Yeah, they probably are doing some kind of vignetting. And there's kind of... They kind of have almost a natural vignette. It's less apparent here. But whenever you can really see the dithering... You can really, they, there's like a vignette caused by dithering there, which is cool. No response from Miller. Hmm. wonder why that might be. Nastasha? So, the terrorists intentionally set their deadline to coincide with the Probably save as well, just to be safe. According a minute. to the terms of Star 3, both Russia and the U.S. are to reduce the number of their nuclear warheads in deployment mm. to between 2,000 and 2,500 It's not complete missiles. disarmament or the anything, but it's a big step. The not yet had any major foreign policy successes. His term will be up soon, and the word at the White House is that he desperately wants this one for the history books. Yeah, Typical politics. politics. It's yep. <laughs> a big concern for him and his supporters. Doesn't actually care about the cause, just getting votes. How's it going, Otacon? Otacon, I'm up on the roof. 
That was a pretty on the rough. Climb. I wanted Hell to yeah, someone appreciates Snake Rand here, thank God. Faster. Oh. Well, you can relax, because there's an elevator in Tower B. Yeah, that'll that be totally safe. Will take you to Tower B. All right. Uh, how about Nastasha? We do want to talk to her when she's having a, in a situation to have generic, generic talks. Maybe get a backstory as well. We we did hear about a backstory in the briefing, like her parents got killed because of Chernobyl. The expansion of NATO and much more suffering after that as well. Over the application of the ABM treaty with regards to TMD systems, TMD. In the 1990s oh, I was going to say, what game uses TMD of as, a, as an initialism? And I was going to ask because I couldn't remember, but I remembered what it was. It's a singularity, the time manipulation device that you get on your hand with TMD. What an interesting game, Singularity. Got to do that on stream. And Time Shift. Those two games, like, occupy the same space in my brain. Yeah, everyone would consider it evil. If you made Metal Gear Rex, cool as it is. Hmm. That the signing of Star 3 would mean a reduction I like that you can have stuff like this as well. You know, Metal Gear 1 and 2 never had anything like this. Just a a linear sequence of just info dumps optional by a codec. Because they have that much more disk space. There is a big difference between nuclear reduction and nuclear elimination. Hmm. I mean, give me the controls for Rex. I'll show you some nuclear elimination. Negotiations for Star 3 began in the late 1990s. The mm. Russian president had actually been pushing for Yeah, when we get around to Phantom Pain, pact, but it we're going to try to, like, play the... T like, America we're going to go through all the tapes, the obviously. I want to try to make it work so I can do it while doing gameplay as well. Title. That's the point of the tape, the is that you can keep playing the game the while listening the to the world, information. No dominant power I'll try to do that. Given up the reins of that I don't remember how it works with, like, if mission US dialogue interrupts that stuff, but we'll see. Regardless, we're going to listen to all of it, and all the tapes in uh, Peace Walker there as well. There has been a lot of effort to reduce the number of strategic nuclear weapons, but mm. even today, there is no treaty limiting tactical nuclear weapons. Ah, right, there's a difference. The outside that the world is disarming, but in Between fact, strategic weapons, weapons and tactical weapons. Anywhere soon. I would assume I would assume tactical weapon is smaller scale, but I don't know. The nuclear age is not over yet. As long as one mm. country in the world has nuclear weapons, they will never go away. Yeah. And remember in Metal Gear 2, it was like the world was approaching near complete nuclear disarmament, or it was already there, basically. It was getting there anyway. And that was why you know, uh Zanzibar land and the threat of another Metal Gear was such a big issue then. But I guess we've reverted since then. In the late oh, we've heard this one. Yep. I think. I think we heard that one? Okay. Right, let's press on anyway. Good talk. Uh, just put the ration on. Just in case. Oh, wait. Mei Ling. Mei Ling. Save. 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 Just in case. You never know. What's up, Snake? Well, let's save, Mei Ling. Maybe we can get some wise words as well. We haven't had any in a while. In China, they say, yeah. rashness brings success to few, misfortune to many. Mm. Snake, go forward when it's safe, but retreat when there's danger. Finally, some advice we'll is don't loot everything. Don't be a loot goblin. I'm not going to listen to any advice that tells me not to be a loot goblin. All right. Time for the iconic kind, the... It was cool that they were in Metal Gear 1 and 2, and they were both interesting fights in their own way. Metal Gear 1's was kind of <laughs> nothing boss, but 2's was kind of cool. Now it's time for the real shit. The Hind D. Well, shit. Good thing he missed. Damn. Yeah. I'm afraid I oh god. Let you get okay, I put my controller down on my lap, but the vibration made it rumble up. I nearly dropped it. 
not going any farther. Oh, my God, good voice. Ah, shit, that's quite bad, actually. Can't... Were we already on the other tower? Like Tower B, whichever it was? It's a long way down. If only I had oh, wait, no, no, that was... Yeah, that was the path, I the, the rooftop pathway. Rope yeah, did we get over it? What are you going to right, do? the rope. Take on a hide with your bare hands. Now Maybe. If I stay here, I've taken out hinds with grenades before. It's probably not going to work that way this time. Uh, so, right, do we want to use the rope? I don't know what we do, actually. Yeah, rope. Yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here. Right, I guess we're not fighting the hind D yet. I know we do. I think we do. Right, this is this section, which was mentioned in the manual. In the manual. I don't remember what the controls were, so we're just going to have to figure it out. Yeah, so he's doing his shooting. This actually, like, the, the hind D kind of being off screen and just have to worry, having to worry about the shots he's taking... And like a strafing line like that. It's like Metal Gear 2's line. All right, thank you, Campbell. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. Simple enough. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. Okay. If you're careful with the timing. Dude, Liquid Snake Parachute Easter Greg. Hey, again, I'm not going to worry about it. Just get through the game. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Right, there's these. Oh, God. Like air vents or whatever that is. Yeah, it's like gas being emitted. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess we can't use our rations during this. Good to know. Ah, yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid the gas. There we go. Just got to time it sometimes. But we've also got to hurry because we've got to avoid being shot. Ow. We're down. We're down. Only took half my health. Woo! Not bad. They don't make you go too far with that. Okay, we're clear. So I guess, yeah, now we're on the other side. We could blow open that frozen door with the C4 if we wanted to. Oh, thanks for the C4. I guess this is... I guess if we didn't cross, then this must be it, right? I forgot my keycard out now. Yeah, there's a noise, but it doesn't open. Because we need to C4 this. There we go. One ration. Thank you. Yeah, now that opens. And we can go back that way if we want to. It's a good way of handling a, uh, handling a shortcut like that. Every game so far, they, they, I guess, except Snake's Revenge, they've uh, enjoyed making you backtrack. Uh oh, we're still in trouble. Uh oh. Ow. Shit. Okay, put the put the ration on. So I'm glad they're getting getting better about handling that sort of thing. Oh, that's just guys. That's guys. That's not the hind. Ow. Ow get knocked around here. I shouldn't have gone inside. Let's see if we can get him with the PSG. Do we have an angle on them here? We do not. Get in a bit closer. They seem to only fire down that sight line. Here, let's take a Dazapam as well. Wrong button. Fuck. Fire with the triggers. Survive that! Oh, there's three guys. I guess, did they bail out? Let's go see. I guess that's all we needed to do. Oh, no, it's not! Go back. Go back. Oh, fuck. This is, this is mean. This is meaner than this game usually is. Doing this kind of shit. I couldn't have keyed them, I guess. That's the wrong gun. Yeah, they ran off just to come back again. Yeah, they just don't react. Yeah, they just step in for a second. Or I guess they're getting more aggroed on me. Oh, there goes my, my aim. 
It may be better to use the stick for this kind of aim. Nice shot. Ass pan doesn't last very long. Good God. I mean, this is me fighting it with the stick. It's not that bad. It's manageable, as you can see. Nice. And yeah, that's all the ammo we've got left. Fucking hell. Uh, they'll probably resupply us with more, right? Right? Yeah, we had a good, a good amount of rations going into the the rooftop there, and then they just drained all of it. Oh, fuck. Ow! Is that one even avoidable? Oh, there's another ration. There we go. Yeah, serpentine. Go, go, go. Oh. Jesus. Okay, we got the stinger. Let's go. Right, now we could fight a helicopter. Yeah, this is one, it's like with the sniper, you go in first person to aim it. Let's ask Nastasha about it. You have stinger missiles. Now mm. you have at least... You have stinger missiles. It came free with a copy of Mel Gear Well, you are not exactly evenly armed. That mm. hind is a monster. You have only a small I think chance to... I mean, no, it's got missiles. It fired missiles earlier. Than I was going to say it's only got the machine gun. That's not true. Nastasha. To shoot hmm. down that hind, you will have to get to a place with good visibility. Do not try to fight him in that walkway. Yeah, back up to the get roof. Get up on that roof where the you rough. will have a clean shot at him. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. Hopefully we can get some more supplies as well. More rations would be appreciated. Definitely could have saved some if I, I just not decided to go, go back in there. Great. Famous. I guess we'll see what's down here as well. Because this is the other tower now. So no idea what's down here. Every copy of Mel Queen Sussy is personalized. Yeah. God, if, if Kojima could do something like that. I mean, I guess... Mm, I'm thinking with Death Stranding. You know, like making a game where things go completely differently every time. Or it's much more dynamic. And I guess he tries to do that. Death Str Oh, can't go down. Damn. Death Stranding has some stuff. With like... Especially with the, the multiplayer features. How, you know, when you play the game, you're going to be connected to a number of players and you're going to have, you know, stuff from their world in your world. So everyone's playthrough varies to some degree. And you can choose to, you know, just make use of uh, of those things or pay it, pay it back in yourself and help people with their buildings and build stuff you th that you think would be useful. And I love doing stuff like that. Like when we get around to playing Death Stranding, I'm definitely going to do some off streaming, like building the roads and doing deliveries, like big deliveries where I can. I love that shit. That's the way, that's the way back out here again, isn't it? Where we came in. Yes, it is. All right, back we go. Don't know why I went through here. I was going to, I was going to make a comparison to survive there. Like, Survive has its multiplayer component too, I guess, but we're not going to play that game multiplayer. <laughs> oh. Mystery? What's happening? Who's here? Don't shoot! It's oh, it's me. Archon! Don't shoot. Hi! It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? We really need, like, a code Mr. word Matic so you don't accidentally get shot, me. Otacon. I'm afraid of heights. Hmm. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you don't even need here? a cardboard box. The elevator, of course. Hmm. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. Yeah, I guess we Wired can take that the down. Elevator. The elevator was working. Yeah, that's right. Why wouldn't it be? You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. Hmm. No. I always think of that line. You're wrong. From Metal Gear Solid the 4, when they're the back here. Always saves the girl. Oh, well, Snake's back you here. You mean Meryl? Oh. Sorry. And yeah, they talk about how he destroyed a tank with just Snake. grenades. Not a con says, really like, you're the ask. biggest badass to ever live, or something story. like that. The great line. Snake, yeah. Have you ever loved someone? He That's suffered a lot. To He's gonna suffer no, more. I mean, I I was Barely begun. The best is yet to come. What are you trying to say? 
I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? He yeah, said it. I do. Not even one I can have I like the usual. Time, hey, he said it. Pop off about the somber scene. But he said it. But yeah, another iconic someone, line. You have to be able to protect them. I think so too. Take the stairs while the elevator was working. Well, oh, no, it's it's the worry. other tower doesn't have an elevator. Um, I don't think. I told you before, I don't want to hurt I mean, anyone. You know, you saw where the camera was when we were going up either. the spiral staircase. Okay. The elevator is. That's where the elevator would have been if there was. You to get it to move. You see. That's weird. It was working hmm. before, but now it isn't. Yeah, the why is that? Broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. Hmm. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Yeah, we can't okay. worry about the elevator I'll yet. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. He's just terrified. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend oh. like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. Man. logic. I'm counting on you. Yeah. We can look forward to the games after this, where he just ends up behind a desk and he doesn't have to be out in the field again. It's not his place. I want I want Articon to be safe and secure and happy with like a pet bite drive full of cool anime. That's all we could ask for. We can we try the button? Yeah, it just doesn't work. Hmm. Well I'm sure I'm sure Articon will get it fixed up. There'll be no problem. Got my goddamn rations. Oh fuck! Right, yeah, there's cameras. Uh okay. Uh shit. It really hurts to lose a ration there. I knew... I forgot. I knew there were going to be cameras somewhere in these towers. I thought it was in the first bit. Yeah, goddammit. Yeah, we're still jammed, so... We have to check for this stuff manually. God damn it. Let the weed be happy. Exactly! Yeah, this place is fucking ridiculous. With how many cameras... Uh, camera guns there are. Yeah, while we've got the chaff up, we're we're safe to sprint at least. Just have to be careful where we are when it stops. What is it? Every like four staircase? Hmm, might be, might be. Let's test that. Okay. Now the three, and then one, two. Three. And then four? Yeah, so it's four. And now there's four of them. Look at this shit. Who designed this place? Why is it like this? Ridiculous. That might be the last one. One, two, three, four? Yeah, we're clear. It's goofy. That is, it is video gamey. In a game that's largely realistic when it comes to its environment design. Level design. It's, it's a bit goofy. There's a ration. We could have had three rations, but two will have to do, I guess. Consistency is the ally of the enemy. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, uh, you know, in a game like this, if it's too consistent, you could uh, you could get too comfortable, you know? How's everyone doing? No, you get like too confident, to and you recognize the patterns. They shake up the patterns, they catch your card, even this far right into now. the game. Snake, he's waiting for you. He's just circling around like a buzzard. I hope mm. everyone's enjoying the live broadcast. Sorry, Snake. <laughs> I wish I could do something to help. We got Snake, plenty of stingers. I don't like it. Please, don't go up to the roof. I have to. I can't nope. run from this one. Game gives me no choice. Can't just wait for Articon. Can we see how he's getting on? You're going to go after that hind now? Yeah. I can still hear the sound of its rotors. It's just circling the tower. He must be waiting for you. wonder if yeah, Nastasha well, will have something to say about the hind specifically. Good. I assume so. We'll in call everyone when we're up there. the elevator so you can use it later. Okay. Uh, right. Let's... I guess we'll get the stinger ready. And let's go. Get up the ladder. Get up the ladder. Don't... 
There we go. Why has it got to be so awkward? Like, on that last one, I, he punched, but then also went up the ladder. That was the same input. Hmm. I hear him. Come on, then, Liquid. Let's, uh, have a throwdown, shall we? I don't remember to put my rations. Oh! So, my brother! Why are you brother! Who the hell are you? I'm you! I'm your shadow! Mm. What? Sonic X Shadow I'm Generation. The father that you kill. I'll send you to hell to meet him! Love his voice. <laughs> Alright. Uh, ration out immediately. Okay, so we can see where he is on the radar. Ow. We're just gonna need to find... Oh, there's another ration there. We're gonna have to find the right angle. So we have to... We have to lock on. Let's call... Well, call everyone. Uh... Mustache, do you have particular advice on how to use Your this best thing? chance is to hit him while he is circling. When yeah. No, kind of like with Wolf, you. where you need to that bait out a open. shot, then go in for Shove a shot. I think for a boss lot would be great. Blood. Hell yeah! As I pronounced it. What does Miller think? Liquid Can't wait to find out. Bring this to an end now. He obviously planned this. Mm. Maybe the broken elevator was all part of the trap. Yeah, it could be. With the elevator to get me out on the roof. I mean, I, I guess I probably still, I don't have the rope that I climbed off the tower the with. We could use that to get down, but I guess we don't have it. Contact, you can always mm. check his position by radar. Okay. That's good. Uh, Miller? It'd be funny if Miller did have something to say here. And it was otherwise completely normal, but you could just hear helicopter noises in the background, like, really loud. Snake, are you okay? So far, how are mm. you doing? Sorry, the elevator's not working yet. It's strange, there's no problem with the motor, and the power is on. I need a little more time. That's strange. That is surely strange. Mailing? Uh, I'm good. Die, snake. I'll try. I'm really gonna try. So we'll, we'll wait for him. If we see him pointing the nose towards us, we need to run immediately. Okay, so times like that, just after he's shot, are what we want. Um, oh, wrong button to fire. Oh, I still hit him! That was a blind, unguided shot. Yep. And it's got its homing, so we're clear to... Did that do damage? Yeah, we're clear to bail out as soon as we fire a shot. Yeah, it locks on really quickly. I don't think we're doing damage, though. Right, don't need to reload it or anything. I guess do we have to aim for one of the particular points. Like, go for the tail. Yeah, maybe aim for the tail. That was... Ooh, that was me aiming for the tail! Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Where is he? Oh, he's behind this building here. I don't trust that. I think he's going to shoot me. I guess we can use the wall camera for this. A little bit. Yeah, see? Shot immediately. Nice. Good hit. Eat shit, Liquid. Oh, the lock-on's finicky. What is this, Helldivers 2? Fuck. I've heard they've, they've greatly improved the spear. Yep, he was looking at me. Snake died of cringe shortly after. Oh. And if it were possible to die of cringe, everyone in this series would be dead. Fox, cringe, cringe. That's how it would go. I guess if you can if you can lock onto it and land land a hit, the tail row is the the ideal. Goddamn! Ah, the walls. The tail row is the ideal place to target. You take that out. There's no controlling the helicopter anymore. Nice. Yeah, this debris is a bit finicky to shoot around. 
probably get further back if I want a better firing angle rather than going forward. Um, there we go. I was going to say, excuse me? Lock on? In the cover. Yeah, we're nice and safe here. Reminds me of the, uh, the Shigaru Magala rock a little bit. Lock ons? Or is he gonna, is he gonna go do something now? We've got no lock ons. Oh, he's, he's doing an about face. Okay, he was doing this. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna take cover and hope I don't die. Yeah, that was fine. My instincts are not leading me wrong on this. That's what I've been noticing today. Is I have my dumb moments occasionally, but the time it takes for me to fi oh shit to figure out that I should change my strategy. Oh god. Yeah, he's just going for it now. I'm getting getting better at the tactical espionage action. Let's wait for him to come around. He's not facing us. Huh? go over top or did he go under? Where are you liquid? Where'd you go? Why are we still here? Just to cringe. Uh. Oh yeah, he's right down there. I see. He's hiding. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like a follow-up to why are we still here. Like I can still feel it. Oh. I can still feel it in my Twitter feed and in my meme collection. There we go. That worked. Still kind of facing us. He went down again. Being more tricksy now. Yep, still down there. He's going back. Yeah, like the music stops when he's down there. We can even see him off the edge. It's fine. I'll play it your way, Liquid. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's liable to shoot the moment he pops up. Yeah, the music stops when he, uh... When he goes down there, too. There's a lot of cues to know what he's doing. No, no good. Eat the tail. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could have just gone for a monsoon quote. That would have been an easy one. I can't believe I didn't go for that. There he is. Lurking. Like being hunted by a shark or some other kind of predator, except it's extremely loud all the time. Yeah, it does a whoosh when it goes up and down. Nope, I've got an invincible metal object, I'm afraid. It definitely wasn't firing for that long before. I guess we gotta go for shots like those. I didn't land though. Oh, we got so much ammo. I think we'll get given more if we need it. But that's that's just his pattern now. I don't think I could land a shot like that. Probably hit the guardrail and I'd die. We need to find an opportunity to hit him. I think we can get an angle where we can hit him, but he can't hit us. that hit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the strat. Just wait for him. Find a good position and wait. Oh! Oh, it didn't hit. I don't know if that can work. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it can. It should, though. That's a good shot to land. Back in cover, then. Helicoptery stingery is a, a patient man's game. I see you've played helicoptery helicoptery stingery before. Oh, yep, yeah, standing too far out. Uh, it's not gone over yet. Nice. 
Look at him flickering with his iframes. Hey. Oh, wait, there's, is there ammo over here? Oh, there is. Yeah. Get that while he's doing that. An evening man. Hello. Thank you for the raid. Uh, just the uh, raid of the evening. The raid of the evening. The raid of the evening. Hello. Oh, God. Hi, we're just fighting behind D right now. Uh, hi, I'm Macrius. Uh, oh, God. Oh, and you were just doing Twin Snakes. Oh, that's perfect. I uh, hope you had a good time with it. I'm going to be playing Twin Snakes uh, at some point down the line. Because I'm doing a marathon of the entire series. I often say marathon when really marathons are generally doing an entire thing in one go. But I'm, I'm doing a bunch of other stuff at the same time. But I'm doing all of Metal Gear. And hello everyone who's come along as well. Hello, hello. But yeah, we did Metal Gear 1, we did Snake's Revenge, which just wasn't worth playing. Uh, Metal Gear 2 was really good. And it was, a, it was a real surprise to see how much of Metal Gear 1 and 2 is in this game. And some stuff in later games, like so many ideas, like some of the stuff we've done today. You know, hiding stuff in with your items that just got stolen, having to run up a spiral staircase, getting chased by guys. And many more. They all come from the earlier games. It was nice to learn that, and they're quite fun too. You'd be surprised how much of, like, the alert and evasion system was in Metal Gear 2 as well. Yeah, Snake's Revenge was pretty bad. It was, uh... I don't recommend it. I definitely don't recommend it. Uh, I was able to get through it in just two streams, at least. But yeah, the plan is to do everything. I've got a trailer for it as well on the, on the YouTube. There's a command for it. Oh, there he goes. Getting frustrated. I wouldn't blame him. Too far back. Yep, yep. Oh. There we go. Yes, good shot. Let's go. Yeah, we're into the into the Kino now. The really good game. I like to say, Metal Gear 1 and 2. Really good. If you haven't played them, and you're a Metal Gear fan, or you want to get into Metal Gear, they're a good place to start, honestly. Surprisingly accessible, and surprisingly refined for what they are, and when they came but very enjoyable. Yeah, we've been we've been we've been doing okay. We started off with Mantis today. We've made decent progress, but it's only the second stream thus far. I didn't think I'd be able to get this far so quickly. But I guess it's just me being a gamer, having uh, having experienced the previous game, like Metal Gear Two, especially, plays almost exactly like this, except you know, no 3D elements. Oh, that hits. Okay, we can get some cheeky shots like that. Good to know. I think we probably can hit any of the the lock-on points to get damage. I've just been focused on the tail. That's what's worked. Yeah, a lot of it, a lot of the formula was already set in stone. And uh, there were like, it was like many, a, a good deal of years between, I think it was like seven years or something, between Metal Gear 2 and this. Like I've been saying, it makes sense to retread that same territory. You know, with the advances in technology, of course. Uh, is this my first time playing Metal Gear Solid 1, actually? I, uh, I know what happened, because I've seen playthroughs of it and stuff. Oh, fuck! All oh, right! Oh, I shouldn't have been so risky. I didn't... God, we didn't have any rations left. But no, it's my first proper, uh, proper playthrough. I think I mentioned last stream. Um... My first Metal Gear exposure was a playthrough on YouTube. Back before, like... I mean, they don't even call it the Let's Play anymore. But back before the Let's Play was even codified, you know? Um, by a guy called Over the Gun. Watched his playthrough of this. Way back. So I know what happened. And I kind of know how to do things. And of course, I've, been, I've familiarized myself with Metal Gear since then. It's a, it's a series I, I love, but I've not played that many games of. Now's the time where I properly get into it. Right, now we have to do all that work again. But at least we're in phase one. Relatively straightforward. Go. We know what we're doing. We'll take a lot less dumb damage. Yes, damage. Yeah, that was a hit on the middle. But, oh, God. Anything works. Oh, fuck. We just want to avoid dumb damage like that. Good hit. Good hit. Yeah, we can zip through this first phase. No problem. 
But yeah, aside from this, I'm also doing kind of a Final Fantasy 7 marathon. Because doing all of Final Fantasy would be insane. We did 16 not too long ago, and I love that. And I kind of want to battle my bias against uh, traditional RPGs and turn-based combat. So we've been playing that, even though it's, it's ATB. But I didn't know it was ATB. So I'm happy to experience it. But uh, yeah, doing, doing, I'm, um, um, yeah, working on original, and we're going to do the remake as well. I've also been doing a lot of Transformers stuff, but I don't know if we'll do more Transformers next week. We'll see. I'm still undecided. Love your avatar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, God. It was uh, designed by me, but, oh, God, brought to life in both art and uh, uh, rigging by Calavera, who's very good at what he does. Oh, boy. I've had it. I've had it for, like, nearly four years now, actually. I started out with a PNG back then. Okay, we're in phase two. But I ended up getting the model fairly quickly. I've had, yeah, I've had this model for a while. It's had a handful of minor, like, tweaks, but otherwise it's not changed much over the last few years. But uh, I'm happy with it, so. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was, that was what we call a bad shot. Flipped the thingy. We do want to get some of those sneaky shots if we can. We can't spend too much time lining up for them. Lest we take damage. We've got three rations, though. There you go. That was a good one. Just be ready to go. As soon as you hear, like, the, the swooping sound of the hind lining up. Okay, he's going to do the thing. Let's get to safety quick. I mean, here was safe last time, so I hope it will be this time, too. Yeah, he makes a, a swooping sound whenever he goes down or comes back up. So you can rely on that. But yeah, the plan is to play pretty much everything. Like, I mean, we joked about it earlier. I'm not going to play, like, the patch slot machine or... Like, any dead mobile games. But we are going to play Ghost Babel after this. We're going to play Acid 1 and 2. We're going to play... Fuck! Oh, bad damage! We're going to play Portal Blocks and, uh... We're going to play Metal Gear Online 2, actually, because there's kind of a revival project for that I was talking about earlier. God, I suck at this phase. Heard of people being stuck on Hind for three plus hours. Yeah, I, I find that understandable. Honestly, it's a toughie. But I think we kind of just wait. Yeah, fire on him as soon as he comes up. He's not going to start shooting immediately. We have time to do a cheeky shot like that with next to no risk. Gone back down, and we just run for cover as soon as he comes back up. When we stay near it, there we go. See, lovely. Yeah, I've been doing well with this today. I had a lot of like dumb accidents on the first stream, and I've, I've had them today as well. But I feel I'm getting into the Metal Gear mindset now, like being able to improvise and think about what exactly I have on hand, make the best use of it. You know. Watch him, watch him. There you go, fire it and go! Yes! Woo, that was close. Don't go out there, don't go out there. Oh, I blew myself up! Fuck, that was too risky. I've got a ration left. I guess I should... Yeah, just use it now. Top is off. Find a good spot. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. oh you've gotta you've gotta line up your aim perfectly at the start. Or else you're not gonna have enough time. God damn it. Yeah, okay. I was going very well until I made a series of stupid mistakes. God damn it. Ah oh, well. That's fine. We're learning new tricks every time. Getting more confident with it, that's for sure. Yeah, I would not, would not blame anyone for getting stuck on this, honestly. There we go. I'm switch to the ration before I go through the door. Real gamer move. So I don't have to forget to equip it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Liquid. Oh, why did... Mm, I thought... I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I don't think I thought, actually. Take back my statement. I did not think. Good name. 
There we go. Yeah, I don't think it matters. It matters which part you hit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a part that does more damage or something. I mean, any any hit does a sizable chunk, and there's more ammo here and there too. There yeah, the lock on is basically instant. It seems like. Like, they have the little animation. Oh, God. Oh, that was stupid. Double stupid. They have the little animation for the little extra reticle coming in, but I think you can just fire as soon as you have the red the, the red buck. And it will home in. That's what I've observed thus far. Yeah, I'm, I'm hesitating because I expect there to be a lock-on time. But I don't think it's strictly true. Playing on hard? No, this is just normal. <laughs> no, it's normal. I'm just bad. <laughs> uh, did hit. Solid. I might be doing more damage hitting the cockpit. Hard to tell. I'd have to do like a hard comparison. Yeah, no matter what, it's chunk enough. Is he going to go do the thing? He is going to go do the thing. All right, we're going to lie down right here. And think about, think about our strategy. Now we have to wait for him to go over there and fire a missile. There go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I'm also marathoning the entire Yakuza franchise, if that interests you. I've been doing it for more than a year and a half now, and I'm only on Yakuza 5. But I'm very much enjoying that, because we just started 5. It's a very good game thus far. Hey, move, move, move. Nice. I could definitely... Oh, shit. I could definitely see myself replaying this on hard, though. Like, I feel like if you know what you're doing, you can get through this really quickly. <laughs> Same with the other Metal Gear so far. But it, it feels like it would be good to try and do perfect runs, stuff like that, you know? I'm waiting for you. Yeah, you can see sooner when he leaps out of hiding as well if you're looking at him like this see him move up oh god ah hard to track him that fast though it's a dangerous maneuver that's for sure is it still a marathon if it's been a year and a half i mean i've i've streamed yak as a at least once uh every week for the past year and a half so i would say it does I mean, it's a marathon, but I also want to be able to do other things with my life, like this. I mean, marathons have lived and died during during the extent of the Yakuza marathon. Like, we did all of God of War, we did all of Devil May Cry. Was Bayonetta during that period as well? Might have been. You know, I gotta be able to play other things or I'll go insane. Which is why I'm do uh, which is why I'm doing three marathons at a time right now, which is also driving me insane. But it is what it is, you know. Okay, let's chill. We're chill, we're chill. I think you're better not watching him below the ground so you can be ready to do the snapshot immediately and then run. You really need to. His aim isn't perfect. will take him a second to actually hit you. Even if when he starts shooting, oh, I started running the wrong way. Camera confused me. Right, that's our last ration. No more dumb mistakes, please. Good hit, good hit. Scared that was going to hit the box. I enjoy some games so much that they can't help but marathon them. Yeah, like Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, there are cases like that where I need to drop everything and play a certain game. Hi-Fi Rush was that. Uh, Alan Wake 2 was that. Oh, yeah, that was a, a marathon we did as well. Like, every Remedy game. You know, like, the second DLC for Alan Wake 2 came out, and I just had to play that immediately. Only took me one stream. But, yeah, there are certain things that just demand to take over my life, you know? In those cases, you know, things can change. Oh, shit. Drop me. Oh, I will keep doing that. I keep swinging around hard to move the way I want to. I'm curious how Twin twin Snakes is going to be control-wise. I, I don't know how it plays. I know how it looks, and I've seen some of the cutscenes. 
gameplay, not so much. Like, I've experienced that with a lot of my marathons, and with Metal Gear especially, learning this game, playing this game. You're watching, watching a game isn't the same as playing it. You might create your own preconceptions about what the gameplay is like and how the controls are, but until you actually get your hands on it, you can't know. The image of the gameplay might be different compared to what you have in your mind, you know? Or your image will be different from reality, is what I mean. Not risking that shot. I can't take risks that big right now. Going well, though. Going well. Got four stingers left. Let's get up here and refill while he's down there. There we go. Five more. Oh, okay. Didn't hit me, though. Oh, that hit me. Fuck. And he goes again. That was a very successful strike on Liquid Pot. There you go. That is a perfect snapshot right there. OG XCOM troops would be proud. Hey, you go back down. You go back down. I'll be waiting. I feel like he's always varying how long he stays down, too. Never be certain. Come on out. Come on out. Somewhere convenient for me would be nice. Gotta come out soon. What the fuck? Not the best spot. Oh, we got him! I think we got him! Did we? Maybe there's one more shot. Unless we have to wait for him to do something. Oh, he might be doing something. I think he is. Yeah, he's firing shots again. Uh, If I fuck this up now, and this spot isn't safe again... I'm going to die, and I'm going to have to do it again. I don't know where the missiles are going to target. And it might be, because it's the other side now. It might be... Oh! Wait, did I die? Or... Oh, wait, is that scripted that you're okay? I saw myself standing up there. No, I think we're good. I think we did it. I think that was a fake one. Oh, let's go. I'm D defeated. Let's go. That was a tough one, but, like, completely fair. Stressful, stressful, fair, and it requires you to show skill with a given weapon. That's a good boss fight. Especially considering you don't really have any opportunity to practice with the Stinger before this fight. Whew, thank you for the GGs. Thank you for the coolant, Cal. One sec. Care of the cremation. Mm. That shot was so framey. You see that? Stretch, thank you, and more health. Let's go. Ugh. Is he just gaining health because he's taken a smoke after every fight? Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed mm. it? No. Imagine if there was a challenge thing. mode where the only difference itself. is Snake doesn't bring the sigs with him, and then he can't so? get any health up. Okay. Right? That explosion before, what was it? What do you think? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Hmm. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. I haven't Listen, told him about the tank I just yet. Want to make sure again, this is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, recap me on our objective. The underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Hmm. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. Yep. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Yeah, it'd be Call nice to get some more to. standard sneaking. We haven't had any standard sneaking in a new area. I mean, basically all stream. I guess there was the dogs. That wasn't exactly standard sneaking, though. Um... Everything up here is clear. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I was, I was, that was, I'd used my last ration too, so. That was do or die. I hope we get a refill. Soon. That would be nice. Just a, a ration or two. Considering I know what's coming next, I would, uh, would appreciate it. Just okay. Probably have stun grenade at the ready. Uh, yeah, nothing left up here. Right. Yeah, no. We emptied the entire boss fountain, I'm afraid. Yeah, just have that in hand. Feels like it might come in handy. You know? Uh, right. The elevator's past all those gun turrets. Gun cameras. So we don't have to run into those again, I don't think. 
need to get where the elevator is. Or do we? Wait, have I gone past it? Where's the elevator shaft? Hold on, I may have gone past it. Wait a minute. Where's that shaft? It's not up here. Is it? Oh, where is it? Is it... Is it past the turrets? Maybe it's... Hmm? I thought we did the turrets after, though. Or uh, before we got to the elevator. Hmm. I mean, it's certainly not here. We've checked. So, all right. Off we go, then. Guess my memory's failed me, as it so often does. Uh, right. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to bring out the chaffs, then. Forget about the stuns. Yeah, we're in a better position here, at least. We can, like, get run right under them just as we throw... Uh, just as the chaff goes off. So we get more time. Go. And you. Yeah, couldn't do that on the way up. Not that we really need more time. And since we're starting from a more advantageous position at the side of the cameras here, it, it just is doubly unnecessary. But it's nice to not get shot at. I should make some calls. Let's make some calls while we wait for that grenade to go off. In the instant before the, the chaff box. You shot down the hind. That was so I funny. didn't take any calls but during the fight. I'm that. stupid. Fuck. I wonder. Oh. Even so. I thought I was going to do it. Their leader doesn't mean they're gonna I think I called up. the stash it. Yeah, I did. And maybe I forgot. New. Maybe I did call people. You're I don't right. know. There's no time to waste. I think I called a few Hurry. people. The underground base is past the My memory's that bad. Out. I can't remember that the I did call. Working again, isn't it? Supposedly, but I can't find the fucking thing. Mm. My God. You actually yeah, yeah, everyone's impressed. Hurt. Bring in the praise. You're the one who said I could do it with nope, a play through two. Exactly, yeah. Really think I had a chance, did you? It's not Plenty that. of opportunities for that, even if well, I did remember on all, this time. That Hind shot down two F-16s. It is mm. hard to believe that after doing that... Snake's higher on the food chain than two F-16s. Nice going, Snake. Nice going. Everyone is dripping. Everyone is dripping. Understandably. But the elevator just started working again. If you take mm. it all the way to the bottom of Tower B and go outside, you'll be in the snowfield. I could have sworn the, the elevator was the past the turret. Space is in the north of the snowfield. But I mean, we would have seen it. We would have seen it, wouldn't we? Hey, Miller, how's it going? No response. Yeah. Sure thing, bud. Sure he's busy. Lifting himself from some twisted wreckage, probably. Don't know why I'd think that, but, uh... It's the kind of thing Miller gets up to, you know? Is it here? I see a structure. Ah, oh, it was here! Right, yeah, there were these boxes. Okay, I just completely misremembered it, turns out. So, yeah, I don't have any rations, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to make do... Oh! Oh, well, that's nice, but I would have liked a ration. What if we go further? Hmm. There was, uh, there was a ration in that, out of that door originally, wasn't there? When we initially came in. Maybe that's been refilled. We should check. If it improves my survivability. Maybe there's something at the, the twisted wreckage of these stairs also. Hmm. Just take a while to get down here. At least there's no gun cams. Okay, yeah, nothing left here. Very close-up camera angle for that, too. It can be a bit disorienting the way the, the camera snaps around sometimes. But it is a really interesting way of doing a fixed camera game, isn't it? I never really thought of it that way before. I mean, a lot of the time, the camera does follow you. But it's still a fixed camera. You can't move it at all. I kind of want to see more games with cameras like this. I guess we'll get that with more Metal Gear. But uh, I really like the idea of the fixed but dynamic camera. Not like pre-rendered backgrounds. I mean, I'm good with those. I like those when they're done well, for sure. Okay, nothing here. But something more like this with more of these just, just handcrafted camera angles everywhere. And like when you push against, not every surface, but a lot of surfaces. 
I really like that. Let's uh, let's just save. Just before this. What can I do for you, Snake? Can I know it? It works on checkpoints, but it makes me feel safer if I save. I'm a bit nervous about what's coming up, considering we've got no rations. Like we're gonna have to stun Don't them and then to save your memories of me too. Open you fire save hardcore. Ah. Even on that system of yours, memories are fragile things. Yeah, it can't fit on After a PS1 you memory them card. Binary numbers and send them through the air. They're not memories anymore. I wouldn't mm. be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Yeah, give memories it a few years. Just sounds and pictures. They exist somewhere between the sounds, between the picture. Mm. I don't get it. Anything. Yeah, memories are like. If that's true, why don't you a bunch of sensory associations right and feelings combined, you have to not just the individual that's right. and that's what memories data, are. you know? Wordless. Mm. I don't know about that. No matter how far data technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human Yeah, Snake's heart. a bit of a boomer wrong. It's just with some tech. Time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? Yeah. Well, you certainly you can't allow yourself to fall capture them someone. without understanding them. Yeah. That was a nice call. All right. Here we go. And I don't know. Right. No, I, I did get some healing from the boss fight. So I'm not on next to no health. The stun might make the difference here. Do the classic. Kind of, it's, it's harder to do the... I guess you have to do this. Because Metal Gear 2, you could do like a back, back and forth spin that continued its uh, direction. I guess you can do this now. Which you couldn't do before. Can't do this with sprites. All right. Huh? Hmm? It's not working. But why? Hmm? Otacon, you said you fixed it. What's going on? I'll try the nuke the biohazard spat the and venom by biotech monstrosity. Is in the north of the snowfield. That would be cool. More, more biotechy stuff. Huh. Just run around here and it's it's totally empty. Hmm. We see this gecko that flies from its tail? Really? Oh. There we go. That worked. I mean they are gonna lean more into bio stuff, speaking of geckos, with the geckos. In four. Snake, there's something I forgot. And I to guess tell there you is before. there is bio what? there is bio stuff. There viruses and what have you. Like with Fox Die and much more. Lab. Oh. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first oh, grade with the class. Reddit two-sentence horror you. code so I calls. Back to the lab and... Yeah? Mm. The four suits were missing. Uh -huh. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's mm -hmm. really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's uh -oh. another thing that bothered me about Scary it. music. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much mm. do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would mm. take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! Uh-oh. He's put the it together. Who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you. They're in the elevator. The call is coming from Too inside late, the elevator. Now, Okay, throw that nade immediately. I threw two. That's fine. Fucking kill them all. I think I made this comparison before, but like this is more reminiscent of a Metal Gear 1 and 2 boss fight. In fact, there was a boss fight that was this. Where you're just stuck in an elevator with a bunch of guys. But they weren't invisible. <gasps> ration! Oh, let's go. Oh, we can hold five now, too. Sick. I'm glad they dropped rations. That's very kind. Yeah, there was a fight just like this. They were a lot more goofy and they weren't invisible. But this isn't the first time they did a boss fight like that. That's what playing the earlier games taught me. Yeah, they came in on ropes and they were kind of like... Yeah, they kept jumping in and out and taking shots. And you had to whittle them down until it became very easy. It was a good fight. It was one of my... One of the better, I would say, Metal Gear 1 and 2 boss fights. Aren't that many good ones. Nice. You need a resupply after all that. Oh. All right, so the... Wait, so the stairs were broken right there. That's where we got down to. You're telling me you couldn't just hop down or jump or something? It's video games, man. You can't try to argue it. 
You'll never win an argument against the game designer. And another ration for me. Thank you. Yeah, ration upgrade is huge. Figure there's something below the stairs. Ooh, PSG ammo. Sweet. All right, we are going to need that. We're not done with Wolf yet. Might be coming up soon, actually. I'm less, less confident on the sequence of events from here on out. Like, I know we've got a rematch with Raven. We've got a rematch with Wolf. Or the, the end game has got to happen. But as for the order of events, I, I don't really know. What am I? What is wrong with me? Why am I so stupid? What damn man? I'm, I'm so used to having the radar. They've taken away from me for so long. I've become stupid. I'm just going to live with my mistake there. Part of me considered dying. But it's just not the right thing to do. Yeah, PSG ammo, PSG ammo. Hmm. I wonder what could be up next. Use the first person cam more. Oh fuck, let's get past that one. Oh god. Oh no! Okay, I I take the death. Fuck they... Yeah, they really want you to... I, I guess they're trying to wean you off over-reliance on the radar. Which is understandable. I mean, I do need that, clearly. Hey, at least we're at the end of the fight. That's the best place to be. Gotta go grab all this stuff again, though. But now I just won't screw up. It's fine. Here we are. Man, it makes me think of, like, you know, future games. Metal Gear Solid 5, for example. Cameras are much less of a threat, as long as they're not, like, armored cameras or anything. So you can just aim at them and shoot them. Can't do that in this. No fucking first person name here, sir. They even show you that that one's there. I think we've just got to... Do what we did. Like, make a... Go for a sprint. And try to get past that second camera, too. Hope there's not a third one. Yeah, there's no good angle for this guy. I have my keycard equipped, so I can go straight past. And we're away, and hopefully out of the range of those cameras, there's another one there. There's two here. Fuck me. Put the rations on. Good God. I wasn't expecting ones on the sides. Have a good sleep for sense and thanks for hanging out. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. It's now. I have one ration. Which I guess I'll use. This is it. Let's take some calls. Yeah, no wonder they gave me so much PSG. It looks like the weather is getting worse. Try using your binoculars. What about yeah. the satellite data? Good advice for here. I'm sorry, Snake. I can't see the entrance in the satellite photos either. What about mm. a heat source? An exhaust pipe or something? I can't confirm anything. Only that there are multiple heat sources to the southeast of your position. That's oh, probably just the burning right. wreckage from the hind. Snake, yeah, probably. you're in a big open space surrounded by walls. The entrance to the underground base should be somewhere in there. Stay yeah, close just do to some the whole walls and you won't get lost. Snake, Proof. you're our only hope. Please stop them from launching Why didn't I take any calls during the elevator fight? Fuck! I just don't think about it. I've got to make it second nature. Hopefully it will be. Otacon, which direction is Soon. the underground base? Yeah, I'll tell them no. It's in the snowfield to the north of Tower B. The mm. door is security level 6. Uh, the weather's dac terrible. Dac make sure you don't get lost out there. A species in the suborder Dakota with over 150 species. Ah, oh, cool. It'd be dangerous to stay out in the snowfield too long. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna get, like... I mean, I don't know how that particular species spits its venom. We're at least going to have the, the, the thing I keep talking about. The ray diamond cutting laser beam. That's something. Oh, it's dark. Oh, boy. Yeah, how about that draw distance, huh? Uh, I think... Instead of using the bi... Oh, I guess we'll try the binox. Yeah, it does increase our draw distance when we do that. That'll be our door, I bet door there, too. Beyond this truck. I only just noticed the trucks uh, tracked vehicles. I guess that makes sense, given the climate and uh, ground conditions. That's cool. There's a door there, too. Would there be another one over here? Yeah. I was expecting one on the right wall. Is there a door on the right wall? Yeah, there's level 6 doors everywhere. There's two on that wall. Huh. There isn't one I missed on the left side, is there? 
No, just where the truck is. Okay. Uh, okay. I think the... The thermal goggles, the Therm G. The Archfish shoots water jets with specialized parts. Ooh, that's cool. Now the Archer was almost certainly a name they've considered. It would be a good one. Yeah, definitely a good name. Not as good for visibility. Ah, we can't zoom. That's the issue with the thermals. All right, out we go. Uh, let's just have the BSG at the ready. Use it now. I look forward to this fight, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the... Uh, the other fight that takes place here as well. Oh, there we go. I hope that didn't actually damage me. That would be some bullshit. Better just be a cut... It's like the opposite of a Yak the Cutscene gun. Where it should do no damage to you. But yeah, she's here. Are you okay? Autogon, we got a view from her perspective like we did with Meryl prototypes? before. No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. Yeah, what he's are a you talking dude. about? Someone's aiming at yeah, me getting to see in from the her middle perspective. of this blizzard. It's her! Mm. Wolf, sniper. Who else? Wolf. Like yes, land a shot her. in these conditions? It's definitely her. I haven't picked Autocon. up any more uh, diazepam, like whatever it is. Happy. And Tasman, diazepam. No, it was not. diazepam. So then, what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Sorry, bro. Please. Sorry. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talk to her. Listen to me, kid. Well, she's not she's talking right killer. now. She's firing shots. I can see you perfectly Ooh. from here. She's on the codec. <laughs> I told you. I nice never portrait for her too. Hunt. Now you're mine. Mm. Wolf. No, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're oh. pretty good if you can hit me in this oh. storm. He you said it. See, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, I don't know don't about that. Do this. Snake. I'm near. She just doesn't care about that Arcan in this moment. Near you. It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Mm. Is that right? Good to hear that well, line. I'm we got it. We got the actual one dear. from Ocelot earlier. I'm sure that wasn't that intended is. as one. It wasn't. It's a bullet, it wasn't an iconic so line. Yeah. To your heart. Please, Wolf. But we'll hear it a few Snake. more times. No. Quiet. No Don't fighting. Now I'm gonna pay you back for Stop the barrel. fighting. You men are so weak. <laughs> has someone, has someone you made can that at Finish what you start. Oh, that's a good bit. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're fine. And we got some PSD ammo. Right, we're not in cover there. Good to know. The right. Same, same, same thoughts apply. Oh, fuck. Well, we just need to, I guess, aim at her while she's setting up. But how the hell are we supposed to get a shot on her? Let's take some calls. Let's remember to do that. I might eat shit and die here. I have no health, no rations, no nothing. Only shoot at her with your PSG one. Right. Snake, Wolf is hiding somewhere in that snowfield. First, you'll have to find out where she is. It's a scouting she operation. Hiding briefly to shoot at you. Yeah. But the draw distance is dog shit. Is everything all right, Snake? No. I'm I'm fucking dying today. Don't give up. Hmm. Miller. You back yet? Hey, there he is. He's fine. The longest a shooter can stay no singed hairs or anything. His target is 15 minutes. After okay. 15 minutes, the observer and the shooter change places. Ah. Then we talked about the sniper duo job. concept earlier. I didn't know about that. That's cool. Yeah, I guess I just assumed that the the sniper would always be the sniper and the spotter would always be the spotter. But I guess both of them have to be really good at both jobs. Huh. Sniper Wolf. It is pretty mm. unusual for a sniper to announce their presence before they shoot. She must have a real thing for you. I guess she does. I do not think it is going to be as easy as before. It was fairly easy before, I'll be honest. Otacon? Otacon, where can I find ammo? Oh, where the wolf is. Won't be, I, she won't be able to handle it. I can't oh, yeah. Tell you. But she's the kind of she's the kind of character where you'd want to see her embarrassed. Ow, it would work. I don't even have any time to look. I guess maybe use the scope, but that leaves me exposed for so long. There she is. Fuck it. Go, go, go. Fuck. Okay, she's on the left side. I have to take a lot of damage to find out that information. Come on, aiming. Come on. 
There she is. Okay, uh... There's a Pam. We have three. There we go. Good hit. Now we've got a lock on her. We can just keep doing that, hopefully. Might change it up on us. She moved again. Ah! Oh, she's faking me out! And I just give her one in the arm? I guess not. She's waiting out my dad, the Pam. Headshot. Okay. We've got a good angle here. I didn't know we'd be able to look this far right. Come on. Make a move. Good reflex. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting to crouch out of cover. Fucking hell. All right. We can do a lot better this time without taking uh, a bunch of shots immediately. Yeah, she fucking locked onto me there, but I've got nothing. I've got no health. Like, maybe there's rations somewhere in the arena somewhere, but... I don't know where they are, if so. I guess I'll... Yeah, start with the scope equipped. And there we go. The cutscene bu cutscene bullet. Yep, we have to take the call, but I guess we can skip through it. Yep, 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 yep. Uh... It's a lot worse than having a cutscene, because you can skip an entire cutscene with a single button press. We get to see her, uh, her portrait art some more. She had like a little laughing animation, which is nice. And the angry eyebrows. Okay. Okay, she's off to the left somewhere. I guess I can use that information too. Like, I can see where she's aiming from. It takes me a while to get the reticle into place, but that's the case no matter what. There she is. See, being able to get to this position while only taking one hit is pretty good. I gotta reload now, though. Saw her run off to the left. Okay, we've got her, we've got her. Oh! Gotta be quick with those kinds of shots. I'm dead. All right. Oh, I, I, there's gotta be rations somewhere, right? Because we've gotten, like, the only thing we've gotten as for supplies since the last elevator fight was one ration. And a bunch of PSG ammo, which I appreciate, but... I'm lacking in supplies. Like, I've got to do this perfectly if I want to do it at all. And I've got to skip through this every time? This feels like it's going to be harder than the hind just from starting off on the back foot. Snake, are you... Yeah, yeah. Yep, get through it. Yeah, it's like... I feel like she can take shots a lot more frequently now. Like, her rate of fire is increasing. But I think the same strategy should work. Just watch where the laser's coming from, keep moving, don't get hit, and then try to get as good a, a good of an initial shot. And then she just shoots me with no laser or anything. I assume she's on the left again. Does she always start there? Maybe you're just less of a target when you're lying down and she shoots less frequently. That's why I get shot immediately when I'm standing up. I don't see her anywhere. I'm making a proper sniper battle, I guess. There you are. And she's aiming right now. There we go. Good shot. Ooh, good shot. She got me as well, but goddamn. Sniper rifle cross counter. Imagine if we could shoot each other's bullets out of the air like wanted. There we go. My reactions are okay for shooting him. Come on. Aim left. Aim left. Where's she gone? I heard her aiming. Fuck! Yeah, I was just in a bad spot there. I didn't have a, a complete view of the environment. Man. man, the Metal Gear 6 list would be cool. Yeah, man, what am I supposed to do? Like, I can't just go and run up to it without getting shot. What happens if I start by crawling? Yeah, we get shot no matter what. Okay. Again, I don't think that does any damage. So it's fine. I was like, maybe we can start on the upper foot if we know what's coming. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The all that mash training with us, lads, really paying off now. <laughs> now that I have to mash through this Kodak call. Yep. I'm only thumb mashing, though. I'm not going to hardcore with it. We don't need to mash that quickly. Yeah, we might save ourselves getting hit that initial time by proning. And it seems like I'm right. Let's see where she is, though. Hit that shot. Yep, she's off on the right. Well, not might. We might not be able to see her. Got a reposition. Yeah, crouching or well, proning is definitely safer. Where are you, lady? There she is. Spotted. Oh God damn it! My diazepam! I guess I've not needed to go through my entire diazepam yet. That quickly she kills me. I haven't managed to hit her yet. Where's she gone? She's probably gone to the right again. Hmm. God damn it! Yeah, she's aiming at me from the right. Oh. I haven't been able to do anything to her yet. Am I not going to even land a shot this time around? No! Oh, okay. I I don't know. I guess we'll try and run around, see if there's any rations because they can't they can't give you nothing. They can't give you no rations for this fight. I, I am in no state to do this. I need more rations, dude. And I joke aside, I'm I'm currently getting riddled with holes. I have no goddamn rations. Wolf is murdering me. Are you? 22 minutes until last shift. Oh, no. I wish you good fortune and minimal suffering. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, she's just gonna shoot us immediately, though, but... We need to run, see if we can find anything. Maybe this truck has something. It looks like the area does extend over there. She just shoots you if you stood up, though. I guess we have to crawl all the way over there if we're gonna get them. Even when I'm lying down. Like, what? What am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do? How can I have? How can I do this? Okay, let me look this up. Are there any rations here, Sniper Wolf? Rations? Yeah, I'm on the second sniper. Here we go. Reddit. I'm on a sniper. Uh, second sniper wolf fight with no health. Two ra two rations. I wish I had that. Nikita strategy. Ah, that would work. Stand in the corner and Nikita. Yeah, that's what everyone is saying to do. Uh. Hmm. Don't use the Nikita. It's so easy it takes the whole point out of the fight. I mean, I don't want to. I just want rations. Finding the right spot where you're just peeking out enough to be able to hit it without giving her enough time to hit you is the tricky part. I go over to the right and peek out from behind the rocks, but there are other spots. If you're in place and aiming, uh, aiming at your set. No more moving place necessary. Okay, I'm going to try it legit. Maybe if I can just crawl over to a good spot on the right, we'll stand a better chance. There we go. But if that fails me, then I will resort to the Nikita. I do want a legit sniper wolf fight, though. I didn't even think about using the Nikitas. It's a sniper battle. You want to do sniper Snake, battles. Sniper battles are, are cool okay? as fuck. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the main issue, I've said before, like, if a boss fight is hard, but you just get to do it back to back to back to back, like, attempt without interruption, that's fine. I'm more willing to do that. Like, we had that with Transformers Devastation. There were hard as fuck boss fights on the difficulty we were playing. But it was bearable. Because you can just go straight back into it immediately. And they're pretty generous with checkpoints in general, honestly. Right, so the rocks are over here. Oh, there's a ration over here! Oh, huge, 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 huge. Let's go get that and eat that immediately. I don't know if I needed that ammo. Oh yeah, we're not at full, so we did. That's a ration right there. I know it when I see it, yes. We'll pop that immediately. That puts us up to near full. Take a lot more damage now. Now we just need to find our spot. This is definitely too far back. We want to be able to see as many trees as possible. 
No doubt she'll get in a position where she can hit us, so... We at least are able to see some of the environment. She'll reveal herself eventually. Why is this aiming so sticky? So goddamn slow. I feel like I never start out aiming the way I'm actually facing. Yeah, that time I did, definitely. Don't see her. I think I heard her setting up for a shot, but she's not going to hit me if she's not on the left. She's definitely not there. Miss on snow and eat for a ration. Maybe that would work. We're going to peek out bit by bit. Where am I looking here? Okay. Right side still very obscured. With this little hill in the way. Do you hear that click? Like she does that. Oh, she's there. She's there. She can see us. In theory, you'd think we'd be able to see her. Ow. There she is. Okay, I'm getting ready. I'm like mentally readying myself to quickly aim up and to the left. To take the shot. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Got plenty of health now. We can do this legit. Like, reacting and hitting her is no problem. Just whenever we get out of this rhythm. Getting <sighs> over there now. Oh, she can't. Oh, she can see me. Never mind. Oh, okay. Right, two shots in a row. That's fair. Just get back into cover here. Oh, you piece of shit. Can't see me there. There you are. I need another Dazapam. Okay. Kind of low again now. Nice shot. Yes. That's what we want. We want her to hide again. She presents herself easily when she hides. It's when she crouches. That's when she gets you. That catches me off guard. See ya. I don't know where she's gone now. Oh, she's back on the oh, back on the left again, I think. That's looking way too far to the left. Just yeah, aim correctly initially. Makes it easier. Not there. Okay. She's on the right side from here. I don't know. I, th I think she only really... God. It looks like she's on the left side. She only really moves when she's endangered. So if we haven't managed to hit her, she'll stay in place, it seems like. Maybe it's the perspective change. Hard to get a grip on where she is. Oh! Okay, that's the last day as a pam. Any aiming after this runs out is going to be a lot harder. Good hit. That's it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got to like fire multiple shots like that if I'm not confident. Oh. After a couple of hides, she ends up doing tricksy stuff. Like like running, do doing double runs and uh, crouching mid-run. Well, that's good. This is excellent wolf RNG. Make me look forward. Oh, shit. There's, there goes the Dazapam. Oh, God. Yeah! Woo! Legit Sniper Wolf 2. Let's go. Holy shit, that was a tough one. But fun. That was really fun. That's, honestly, that's probably my favorite Metal Gear boss fight so far. Probably that and Ocelot. Because Ocelot's very basic, but it's it's enjoyable. And right, now we can have a look around the rest of the arena. Maybe get some more rations. And then let's get sad. Oh, shit. Okay. Need to get funky. Funky. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we're forced into the cutscene. That's okay. Waited for this moment. But yeah, I, I when when we get around to crying wolf, I want to do that legit too. Like I love me a sniper battle. There Not enough games let you do that kind of thing. Play more of the sniper elite games, honestly. <laughs> But yeah. I am long shot. Here's some more shots that I used in the trailer because it's a legendary moment. Please. Just finish me. I don't think I ever hit you in the lung. Maybe that last shot was. I was kind of just spraying and praying. I am a card. Everything else was a headshot. I was close enough to it. I dreamed of a peaceful place like this. Mm. A curd. So that's why you're called Wolf. I Did he just forget that that came up during the torture? I guess he had other things on his mind. On Fair enough. Field. Gunfire, sirens, and screams. Mm. They were my lullabies. I do love the formula of, like, introduce a buff, they like do some cool shit, fight them maybe day. a couple of times, and then when they die, you Reason learn their tragic backstory. So they get that down to a formula in 4 that with the B&Bs, with Drebin telling life. you what, what horrific shit they went through. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. Yeah, this is a very B and B backstory, honestly. I stare at the morning sun and pray to make Yeah, it look to forward stay. to like ra railgun sniper equipped world robot dog. Fun things away. It's such a good design. Like, I think... My doesn't hero. she do a thing where she comes out of the robot body to aim the shot? Saladin. And, like, wield the, the railgun rifle, the rail rifle? That. I think she does Saladin. something like that. It's so cool, man. Big boss. Ridiculous. I became a sniper. Hidden. I was looking at my I trophies the other day, actually. And I think... I, I want to say when MGS4 first came now out, there weren't trophies, but they added them. Because it wouldn't make sense otherwise, because all my trophies in MGS4 are from 2015. And I do not remember playing the game that recently. It was nearly 10 years ago. But I have no memory of it. But I think when I did that, I got as I got past... I got past Wolf. So I have won that fight before. Memories, but it'll be more of a surprise now. Yeah. We'll appreciate it more with full context. To take my revenge on the world. Mm. But yeah, definitely. I, I definitely played MGS4 life. before 2015. They must have added trophies. Or I am no longer the wolf there are games like that that were very early on the PS3 the and just don't have trophies. I sold my body and my soul. Kind of similar to what Mantis said of, uh, about just wanting people to, like, wanting to kill Wolves people. Are noble animals. Not just like lashing dogs. out against the world. They're both tragic in that way. Epic. The word for wolf is what a lot of very sad people the in Fox Town these days. Honorable cousins. Mm. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's such true. a great cutscene, dude. We're all for sale at some price or another. Mm. You're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Yeah. Who are you? And we had Meryl, you know, interrupting last time, wolf. but... Snake's always Spare happy to life. give an opponent their last words she and their, you know, respect as they're target. dying. I don't kill for sport. It's neat about him, I guess. It's easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. Hmm. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. Yeah. But I love the, like you. these scenes with the dithering. It looks so good. I love PS1 I dithering. Please. It's an art. The style of dithering. And it probably wouldn't look like this probably on a CRT like we were talking about with the... <laughs> The funny fancy pixels. Why? Why? Games of this era, but regardless, it looks nice. I loved you. Oh. What is it? 
Hal, Hal oh has God. suffered and will suffer again. Hal has suffered in ways that haven't even been made, a, a, you know, apparent to us yet. We'll get there. Look forward to MGS2. Really is a shame. Any places where things make sense and a peaceful to visit? Just in peace, pop. Yeah. Everyone's here now. Just uh, coming up the way she did. She, she never, she never knew peace. She didn't know that the world could be peaceful. Set me free. Just a child soldier moment. Oh. Goodbye. Rip to a real one. You were a sick couple of our sites. Really good. Been through most Snake. of MGS5, but definitely found you things. Yeah, it, it happens. On the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. Hmm. What are you doing? Sometimes that's how it is. Can't always save everyone. Returning it to its owner. Oh right, need handkerchief. A handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. Oh! Kino line! Holy shit. I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. Yeah, Snake didn't avert his eyes or anything. He's been through enough at this point. Now. He's not the don't green rookie he was at the start of Metal yeah. Gear 1. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Hmm. Yeah. We might not meet again. Oh. I'll hang no, we should be best friends forever. I want to keep helping. Mm. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start. Right, that comes looking life. pride to the handkerchief too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not the type to want to watch someone get shot in the head. Whether it's Wolf or anyone. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What am what I fighting, fighting for? for? <laughs> so good! If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Oh, it's cinema! It's cinema, dude! Such good lines. Like, okay. the writing has that particular... I'll be searching, too! Like, cinematic quality, you know? Everyone dropping hard-as-fuck lines. So good! God damn, dude. What a great game. <laughs> oh. Alright, we'll probably go forward a little bit. See what we're getting into, and then call it after that, probably. We got a bunch of rooms to check. Some loot. Oh, fucking... Fucking gun cams. That is also the correct way. God damn it. I even have the radar now, and I still fell for it. Man. Okay, that's... Some... That might be Nikita's, actually. Oh, fuck. I didn't think it would look that way. Jesus. I wanted to sneak under it then. Jesus. Oh my god. I didn't even make an alert noise that time. It's just aggroed. Bastard. I should just use chaffs. I have so many of them. I probably don't even need these if they are Nikias. Oh no, I do need them. Oh, right. there we go then. <laughs> Worth. Go check the rest of these doors without screwing up. Oh, this isn't six. Oh, that's seven. Okay. We'll be back for that then. This one's six. Okay, nothing terrible. In fact, something great! 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 <sighs> Fuck! <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I was gonna go let myself get killed, but I ran into another one. Okay, yeah, give me the checkpoint. There better be a checkpoint there. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, here was me thinking like, oh yeah, this one's fine. It's got no cameras in it, so it's fine, surely. No. No, of course not. Uh, and that's before I got the Nikitas on the life too, so I have to do that again. But we're better off this time. Ugh. That is, that is a dastardly placement as well. Just all centered around the door. And if you get in and trip one, and then you're in there, you're going to trip another one on the way out. Uh, oh, some good news. Let's have a look. Let's see. From the official art book, I may have seen it. Ooh, oh no, I haven't seen that one. The first image there, that's gorgeous. 
That second art is gorgeous. That third art is incredible. I've not seen that one before. And then that, oh God, yeah, I'm, I'm just quickly scrolling through it. Ooh. Oh, there's that one that you showed me earlier with Gray Fox, yeah. Oh, that's a really good Mantis. Ooh, wish I'd found these earlier. I found, a, I found like a good Im, Imgur gallery of Yoji Shinkawa art for the whole series. I hadn't found that. I'll probably be using those. Thank you very much. Ooh, that's a power. Don't know how much we'll need that anymore, but uh, hell yeah. Nice creditless versions. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That is an invaluable resource for me. Like, you don't know how much time I spend looking for game in images on, like, for thumbnails and for schedules, man. Having, having a resource like that is so good. I don't trust this for a second. I don't trust anything anymore. Run out of tears to shed. No, this room is legit. If you say so. Unless there's invisible men in here. Ooh. Okay, big ammo resupply. Good. Highs and lows of saturation. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Another one here. There's cameras. There's two cameras. They're just not going to move. Uh, those will be grenades of some variety. Perhaps also including chaps. That's a that's a worthy worthy trade. Yup, that's chaps. That's what we call profit, baby. Let's go. I yeah, really, really just love the entire formula of Metal Gear thus far. Particularly the the idea of OSP. I guess there's got to be another box for getting to here, huh? Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's around somewhere. But, you know, going around, having to manage your inventory. It's kind of like a survival horror game. I guess, if you think about it. Or if you don't think about it. I don't know. Is that more rations? That is rations in there. Maybe a cardboard box or something? But yeah, whatever genre it is. I, I like this kind of experience where you start with nothing. Yep, there it is. Yeah, you start with nothing and have to gain all your resources and manage them. So yeah, now, if we would, say, use that truck down there to go back to any of the previous areas, we could get back here now, right? Yeah, to Snowfield. That's all Gucci. Right, let's chaff. And then we just have the one uh, going to where we're going. Into the building. Okay, pull up on Nikita's. do this one was this a camera door or was this the mind oh right that was uh the one we can't open this is the one that had the mind right yeah okay so we've cleared that let's go and of course you know i mean we're gonna be back here oh yeah she's still just there man um on top of doing all this again in twin snakes we're gonna be back here in four as well so we're gonna have like layers upon layers of nostalgia not to mention me playing mgs4 story. in the past we shouldn't have turned our backs yeah, on the Kurds after everyone the Gulf too. War. Listen, mm. we're not responsible for her choices. Everyone decides their own fate, no matter where they were born. Words like fate, karma, mm. it's just an excuse for Being a bit less sweet than he was with Arkhan, I guess I he was minding his you. feelings. Maybe if oh. she hadn't been born on a battlefield, she might have had a happier, more fulfilling life. She might not have turned into a killer. There's an edge to those words. Fair enough, Naomi. Like, that's like I was saying. She never knew peace. She's at least, d definitely to some degree, Master, a result of her... You and I, we're nothing more than dogs, origins. are we? Oh, that's man. not like you, Snake. Don't let what Sniper Wolf said bother you. Yeah, Snake's Listen, willing to kind of show more vulnerability with Miller, too. Himself. And if which there is, is one, tragic. He's nothing more than a murderer. But someone like Wolf, a soldier who's looking for nothing more than their own death, is no good to anyone either. That makes when sense. When she started to look for death, it was all over. That's how Would've you happened eventually. Too, Snake. Wow. Okay. Damn. L letting some of the some of the true spe true self spill through there. What do you think, Stasher? As long as the strategy of nuclear deterrence continues. She just wants nuclear to talk about nukes. Fair enough. Reduced, I'm happy to hear her talk about nukes. 
If you think about it, nuclear reduction does not mean much without elimination is Ooh, the end point. Goal. Might do it later than you should, but you can take responsibility someday. You won't give up. Yeah, it's a very IDW Megatron type of thing. Like, to convince them of the ineffectiveness I mean, of the I was going to say it doesn't matter what, what you've like done. It does, on that issue. but it's never too late to turn it around, ultimately. Are a sad thing to see, and mm. I have seen a lot of it. Yes, you have. I have seen more than enough of it. I was yeah, born this is her backstory and talk. There you Prepyat, go. At Ukraine. I was 10 years old on that day, April 26, 1986. You don't mean... Yes, Chernobyl. What else? That is the day that changed my yes, life. Yes, that was the day I tripped life. and skinned my knee and my life was forever changed. And also there was something else going on. I wasn't really paying attention. Evacuated. Over 650,000 children suffered the effects of radiation poisoning. Mm. Between 1986 and 1993, 12,000 <sighs> I've looked into this stuff died. before, it's fucked. My man. parents and many others like them who helped I never finished watching uh, that show. Was it, just, was it just called sickness. Chernobyl? I think it was. I never finished watching we that. I watched like the first few episodes. Really good. Of all nuclear weapons before they cause more misery. Yeah. Before they destroy the delicate environment that keeps us alive. Oh, don't worry. We'll we'll be able to work on that without the news. Anxiety to pass on to environment will be destroyed generation. one way or another. Mm. Mei Ling. In China, they say it's better mm. to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's yeah. true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't Finished it? Good stuff? Yeah, yeah, it seems that way. Before their time. Please, Nick, promise me that you'll come back alive. Hmm. Uh, I guess I won't say for now, but we will soon. Thanks, Mei Ling. Okay, let's go. That's right, there are cams in this room, too. Doesn't seem like there's much of anything to pick up. I guess you can climb under those boxes. That would be a way to get past the cams. Yeah, we spent a bit much, uh, too much time in there. What? Oh, where? Is this discharge time? Oh, it probably is, isn't it? Oh, that's a perfect time to leave off. I thought I just died. Insert this too. Okay, I thought that was like, snake fell down the stairs, game over. All right, we can do this from here. Uh, this too, please. There's no prompt from the game. You may not be able to continue gameplay. Yeah, it's fine. Game told me to do it. Press the start button. It will probably save on disc two. And that'll be a really good point to leave off. Yeah, I don't know if that's the halfway point or anything, but it's a good, it's a good milestone. Uh, you know what? Let's finish here. It's just been five minutes. We'll probably see some really cool shit at the start of next time. I guess we maybe we'll take some calls. Maybe they have a different things to say now. The entrance to the underground base is further below. There should Spencer be a view. Exactly. Like you can tell you're coming up on there. something important. That cinematography. Being able to convey that kind of feeling and idea without saying a word. War brings out the cruelty of man. Mm. No matter how the soldier was brought up, they all turn into animals when they're thrust into the heat of combat. Mm. I didn't know where the disc change was. I, I kind of forgot it was a multi-disc game for a while. But it makes sense considering everything they're doing here. If Great framing. Exactly. The number of stockpiles we heard this one before. Maybe, maybe not. Can't get the, can't get the audio anymore because I skipped a bit of it. Yeah, America being America. You know how it is. How you doing, Otacon? There's a cargo elevator in the northeast. He's pulled himself together. Floor. Gotta appreciate that. Take that to Metal Gear's underground base. Yeah, we'll You'll get to see rats right next time. It's Whether we fight them or not, I don't know. To it. But maybe, maybe. Like, my prediction may come true. We might be able to get this done in three streams. And then go on to the Ghost Babel. Right, let's save. Mei Ling. What's not calling you for no reason this time. Let's save. You know, yeah, what a what a Kino game. I, I kind of do drop that 
term more frequently than I perhaps should. But I mean it in complete earnest with this. And in, like, more of the literal sense, this is a cinematic masterpiece. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep mm. things in the proper perspective, okay? Okay. Thank you, Mainly. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's call it there for today. Uh, good progress, though. Good progress. And they, again, with the cutscenes, they're really hitting us with the, the good, good stuff. The real good, good stuff. And yeah, hopefully next time, I mean, 100% we're going to see Rex. Whether or not we fight Rex, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. Because I know, like, what we've got left, right? We've got to do, we're going to do all the stuff with the key card, right? Getting the three forms of the key card, right? Um, there's Vulcan Raven. There's, uh, yeah, there's not another fight with Ocelot or anything, I don't think. So I think it's just Raven, isn't it? Raven's the only boss left before true end game. Yeah, like Raven. Yeah, key cards. I don't know which order it's in. I assume key cards Raven, but I don't know. And then Rex and Liquid. Yeah, it probably is. I, I think it just comes down to that. So maybe we will get it done next time, like another stream of this length. Definitely. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. So what are we doing schedule wise? Nothing tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're doing FF7 on Saturday and I'm going to need to do, going to try to do a little bit of grinding before then. So I have a better chance of getting my goddamn materia back. Cause some, for some reason they decided to put the, like, the, you know, you have the side quest, you have the Wutai stuff to get your materia back from Yuffie. For some reason they decided to put in this section of the game where you have none of your materia that so much of your fighting ability is based around, they decided to throw the hardest boss in the game so far at you, while you have barely any of your abilities, which sucks. I think it's a bad design decision. But uh, I'll try to level up a bit so I can get more health, so people get one shot less, hopefully. And then more Yaks of Five on Sunday. Yeah, we're going to be trying to uh, finish all the taxi stuff for Kiryu, which is really fun. I love that stuff. Um... Yeah, until next time, I hope you have a very lovely morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day it might be, wherever you are, and I'll see you around. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.